is um, otherwise being it's been confis confiscated by my mm -hmm. son. Mm -hmm. Um, so I know I got, a, yeah. I got a question for the panel, and I saw this just so you guys know, and I know that numbers can be skewed, but in the next year, in the next year, two tops, Russell Westbrook is gonna be a member of the 25,000 point, 10,000 assist club. It's only one other dude in that club. That's James. How are we talking about Russ? A lot of people would just say it was um, a lot of pat statting, uh, uh, stat padding. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I don't. I don't know. I think it's. I think it's an incredible uh, accomplishment. I don't think. We, I don't think we can take away the accomplishment of create of getting those stats. So far, it hasn't turned into much winning. So I guess. I guess you can knock him for that a little bit. I know. Right. I certainly do. But I still think we got to give him. You know, show him love for accomplishing that. Especially how you said only LeBron has done that. So. I think history will look more favorably upon Russ than how people now do. I think 20 years from now, when you see he averaged a triple-double four times in five seasons. He did do that. And won a league MVP. Not many point guards have done that. Mm -hmm. the, like you said, 25,000, 10,000 assists. He's on like nearly 8,000 rebounds as well. So all of that in like combined, I think a lot of people are going to look favorably upon Russell Westbrook. And talk about especially when you look at the all-time point guards mm -hmm. beyond beyond like three or four a lot of them don't have championships like chris right. paul steve nash jason kidd has one of the tail end john stockton i think people are going to start pushing russell westbrook into that top five realm past his retirement which i don't know if i agree with but i think that's right. probably what will happen so you think you you honestly think history will be better to russell westbrook than current day 100 percent, because i think for people who weren't, who didn't watch him or won't go back and watch, and they'll just mm -hmm. look at the numbers and see, for example, 32, 10, and 10, 25, 10, and 10, 23, 11, and 11, 22, 11, and 12. You see all of those things. Then you see he got to the finals in 2012. They're going to see he averaged like 27 in the finals. Mm -hmm. Then they're going to, then they're going to see he led the league in scoring twice. He led the league in assists three times. All of those things, plus the amount of points he's going to have, the amount of assists, mm -hmm. they're going to be like, we know he didn't win, but neither did John Stockton, neither did Chris Paul, neither did Steve Nash. Jason Kidd never won in his prime. Gary Payton never won in his prime. All of these mm -hmm. guys, they're going to say the same things and we'll be like, if Russ did all of this, he didn't win either. Why is he not better than them? That's what's probably so, going to happen. But you said something <clears throat> that, that's important that I, I'm stuck on. So you said the people, they're not going to go back and watch. They're just going to look at his numbers. Mm -hmm. Well, then why aren't people today looking back at Elgin Baylor's numbers, at Oscar Robertson's numbers, and saying, man, that dude was really great. You're not. You're saying, oh, that was so long ago. It was, it, they're, they were trash. You think in 30 years, the kids in 30 years are, aren't going to say, who cares about Russ's numbers? Those days were trash. No, nah, <clears> not the <throat> same thing. Because that's not that. It's, it's, not, it's, hard, it's hard to compare yeah, the 60s, where a lot of people don't respect the 60s because, A, there was eight teams. B, that no three-point line makes it a lot harder for people to respect. And then when you do go back and watch, the people who don't really care about the history of the game, they're going to see players weren't dribbling with their left hand. They're not going to care about the rules. They're going to look at it, see it was in black and white, and they're just not going to care. Whereas Russell Westbrook, he played in what we know is the modern era, but it's still very, it's going to be similar to what the game is going to be like in 20 years, just from a rules standpoint. And, you're, and it's going to be more accessible to find all the footage. You can probably find... 90 percent of russell westbrook's career games on the internet it's going to be much easier to find but so that, I think, that's why i, I was stuck that's on why. you saying they're not going to go back and watch so if they don't go back and watch though what's the difference if you don't go back and watch if you just look at numbers what I, I, you always say this one what what was uh, what was uh elgin baylor's stat line uh jay when he was that one year that he was part-time in <laughs> army part-time in the army part-time playing he went 38 and 18. That's almost 40 and 20. 18. So if you don't go back and watch that it's in black and white and you see 38 and 18 versus whatever Russ did, <clears throat> I haven't told you my opinion yet, but if you're not, again, that's why I said I got stuck on where you said they won't go back and watch. If you don't go back and watch, are you thinking Baylor's like a beast? In fact, that's 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 exactly what happens, Mars, because I talk to people who say this exact thing and to, 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 to further your point that – there's way more footage to watch with Russ today than it was 
25 years ago or 40 years ago with Elgin Bale. I'm 15 years old and you can't tell me that Elgin Bale is better than Dominique Wilkins. And the reason why is because I haven't seen Elgin Bale and there was no footage except maybe a game or two that was in black and white to go watch him as opposed to seeing Dominique Wilkins on the regular. So if you fast forward 20 years and Russell Westbrook is, is long gone and there's a point guard that's running around that's averaging 22, 11, and 9, and somebody's going to tell you that, hey, this guy is better than Russell Westbrook. Well, wait a minute. We got footage to show you that you can go back and look at this guy to see – how good he was compared to Russell Westbrook. Because if you just look at the numbers, of course you're going to go, yo, Russell Westbrook is at the top of the point guard echelon. Again, we're talking about a dude who I think in another year or two tops, he's going to be a member of the 25,000 point, 10,000 assist club. And because of that, you're going to look at the numbers and go, yo, this dude got to be better than Magic. He got to be better than Stockton. He got, and, and that's so, it's so skewed. So I'm, I'm just wondering what the logic is going to be on Russ in 20 years what what, so, what are they going to say about him so i i'll, I'll refrain because ticket has joined ticket what's up brother um the question is what this up, the tech the the question is this will the future look at russell westbrook better than the current day who's kind of stuck in his looking at how not how bad he is but but not not really respecting russ will the future look back at his numbers and and, and the tape and be like oh he was actually pretty damn good Ticket, hold on. Before you answer that right, ticket, before you answer that ticket, the way it was phrased is Russ in another year or two is going to enter the 25,000 point, 10,000 assist club. It's only one other dude in NBA history that did that. That's James. So in 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 another 15, 20 years, how are we going to be talking about Russ? Well, the real question is why Mars was ducking that smoke with Elder one on one. That's the real question, but I will get to that later on. Anyway, we'll so you, 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 you dub some disrespectful, you and dub some disrespectful dudes. Dub, you're real disrespectful to fluent sucker. But whenever fluent with the smoke with you one on one, you run around here and you want to gang. Y'all running groups. You gang up trying to come in here when there's ten people on your side trying to go against fluent. Dub, you scared to uh, uh excuse me, Mars, you scared to go see Elder. Elder come up on the show, call you out. I you ran your mouth and talked all that stuff. Y'all dudes is, is chump, man. But to answer the question, man, they don't <laughs> know you. they ain't going to respect Russell Westbrook, man. And it's because really? they're playing with your boy, man. Your boy have ruined the legacy that Russell Westbrook had. Now, here's the a, here's a reason why I say that. Because when you play with LeBron, now, and that's the last place he's going to be born in the last place, so that's how they're going to remember him. They're going to put his, thing, his career under a microscope for the time he played with LeBron because they're going to say, look, you, this is what happened when you were expected to really play winning – basketball so they're gonna they're going to negate all of the stats that he had and say that he was just basically a stat stuffer that's it he he won't be remembered with the all-time grace like that 20 years from now they will they'll criticize him they'll talk down on him they'll disrespect him like they do Allen Iverson and, and, uh even though I think AI was more of a better leader and a team player than, than Russ even though Russ have all the assists no and because of what's going on now in LA they're, I'm telling you, they're going to remember you how, you, how they went out. The same way they do Kobe Bryant. For two Bryant. years, no ticket? For, they remember for two Kobe years, no ticket? How he, yes. Bro, they only remember Kobe for the last three. All these dudes now? No. No, they don't. No way. Hold on, hold on. I, I'll say they never judge Kobe from his prime, these guys now. You know why? Because they didn't see him in his prime. They only saw the last three or four years of his career. So these guys that's coming up now, they only really seen the last three or four years of, uh, of Russ's career. And then what they're gonna do? They're gonna you're gonna have historians that are young now. They're gonna be older. They're gonna say, ah, he wasn't really that good, man. He went over to the Lakers. They were losing, getting the hell beat out of them. You're gonna have dudes like Mars who are stat geeks. You know what I'm saying? Who ain't gonna really understand because they didn't watch the game. The type of stuff you're gonna get. But the difference, though, is the difference to ticket is is that you can actually go back and watch footage of Kobe Bryant. But you right? know, people, you know, people don't do that. Like I, 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 you know, look, this is nowhere near on the same level, but I just went through this whole thing for three days where someone said Dennis Rodman never, not one time guarded, guarded Mike. That's not true. And I said, that's not true. And that's he said, true. never happened. And I said, no, it, I, in, in fact, coach Daly put him on in certain times to give him a different look because Dumars was hey, Dumars was a couple inches shorter, quicker, and he said, right. a different look. I'm gonna throw a bigger, stronger lengthier guy on him to to mess him up a little bit and i said and here's the footage no it didn't happen 
So, so I'm, I'm torn. So here's why I'm torn. Because I think there are people who will just go to NBA reference and they'll look at Russ and say, damn, like, damn, you know, especially the ones who look at all time stats and to right. your, when he's in that club, that 30, 20, whatever, 10 club and say, like, wow, this guy was actually pretty good. He averaged a triple double four times. That's that's amazing. No one did that before him. It's been 60 years since someone did it, did that before him. That's amazing. But I disagree with that. Hold on, because look at Mars, look at Mars and Dove. Mars and Dove don't put respect to OGs. They don't put that's respect on respect that's, to OG. That's why I'm torn, Ticket, because there's another group of people who do look at – they only talk about Jordan being unathletic in Washington. They only talk about Kobe at the last two, three years. They only look at – you know, they're going to look at Russ at the end and say – he was a turnover machine who couldn't shoot. You're going to look for those negatives because, and Mars, this is what I'm saying to you. I've seen it now happen twice. Like I've been, I'm old enough to have seen the, you know, the rotation happen twice. Yeah. Those people are, are going to look for reasons to, to say he's bad. They don't look for reasons to no, very few. So I don't want to say no, very few young dudes, like, you know, in their twenties and whatever are looking for reasons to say a player 30 years ago was good. Right. And typically, people don't look for the truth. They look for reasons that that uh, prove or go with their already their idea. Their their they they want proof of their own. You know, they don't do research for truth. They look for information that backs up what they're saying to make them feel right. So people are going to go in in thirty years and say, "Russ was a stat patter," or what did you call him? A pad statter? <laughs> yeah, stat stat. stat, 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 stat He's a pad <laughs> statter. <laughs> Right. right. <laughs> and they're going to look for those things. And if you look, you're going to find it right with Russ. That's the mm-hmm. downside of Russ. You're going to find it. So I, th- I think history is going to actually be worse on Russ. I don't, man. And the reason yeah. why I don't. Mark, I, just look at it now. Just look yeah, at here's it. The, here's Mark, the thing, no, 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 Tone, no, no, Tone, no, 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 that's he why we're here. That's why Ticket is here. Laugh. That's it's why I'm white. here. That's why you're here. No, that's not going to happen. We're not going to be able to. We're not going to listen to these dudes disrespecting Russ. We're not going to listen to these. Just like we don't listen to these dudes disrespect Bryant and Magic and, and Jabbar because of people like us that make sure that these people know how good these guys really were and not to just look at the numbers. Because if you just look at the numbers, of course you're going to go, damn, Russell Westbrook was way better than Magic. Wait a minute. No, he wasn't. But... That doesn't mean he wasn't awesome neither. And here's why he was awesome. Because he did have an eight-year stretch where he played with Kevin Durant and he was one of the best league guards in the game, <clears throat> right? So that's up to us as quote-unquote historians of the game cool. to make Watch sure this. that people... That's what you're going to get. That's what you're no. going to get. Yeah, it, go, it, go, it goes both ways. Because you've got the people who, like, they never bothered to watch Will Chamberlain, but then they see, oh, he averaged 50 and 25. He's top five. So it goes both ways. There's going to be the people who are going to say the older generation is trash. They weren't good. Don't compare them to what we have today. Don't compare them to Victor Wembanyama, etc. But then you have the other people who are going to see the stats, like what Will Chamberlain put up, like what Jerry West was putting up, for example. Nah, you know who, you know who they're going to trade? They're, they're going to trade that dude who praise Mars. They're going to trash that dude Yoke. If you don't win no championships, and they're gonna say he wasn't nothing but a stat pattern himself who got his ass kicked whenever he played real competition. Yeah, Joe Olin they're, they're gonna say that they're gonna say that all that hype. You get all that hype. And Joe B beat that ass, boy. So that, that, that's the type of stuff that you're gonna get. This type of stuff that you pushed out, I promise you, young fella, you're gonna get that shit back a hundredfold. Because if that boy that you hype up Jokic, I was here when you tried to say he was a better offensive player than Kobe. Mm-hmm. When he don't get it done and don't win no rings in his career, they're gonna tear his ass up when his when his when his career is over with, and say this dude was an underachiever. He didn't get it done. Blase, blase. The same way I told you the KG underachieved while he was in Minnesota. Th- this dude is really underachieving in Denver, and that's a fact. Yeah, and then, exactly. and then what's gonna happen? That, that, yeah, they are they are gonna say that. No, I'm not. Right, I'm right, 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 and right, what's right. gonna happen, Mars? And, and Mars, what's gonna happen? The same thing that the same thing that he's saying right now. The same thing that I told you months ago. The same thing is going to happen, and they're going to tell you, Mars, that Joker played against plumbers. Joker wasn't very good, and you're going to want to. You want to podcasters, <laughs> right? And you're going to want to. That's that's who Joker played against. They're going to leave out the fact that he played against Embiid. He played against Giannis. All they're going to talk about is the fact that he didn't win, and you're going to want to crash your car because you've seen Joker and you've seen how good he is, and you know how good he is, and you're going to have to explain how good he is to people that are younger than you when you get older. Well, like I say, like I say, you got, I, I, you got, you got two types of people, though. You got, you got two different types of basketball 
um, whatever you want to call them, uh, fans, historians, YouTubers, podcasters, me- media personnel, coaches, everybody. There's two sides of the coin. You have your basketballers, you have your basketballers. So people, a lot of people only care about what the stats say. Right. And some people have to see it. Like me, I have to see it. I can't, I can't just, just because there's 48 minutes in the game. So if you average 25, that's cool. But did you, you know what I'm saying? I need to see your 25. I need to, and if, and you, on the other side too, there's some people that, that were, what, that might have averaged 17 and eight. 17 and eight is nothing to frown on, especially depending on how you do it and what type of role you play. I, I, I think there's tons of people out there that might have averaged 17 and eight that were better than some cats that averaged. 25 and you know whatever it may be it's i, I need to see it i'm a basketballer maybe i don't believe in math maybe, maybe maybe the system that they were i am in, a fan maybe, of maybe, math. i am a maybe, fan maybe of math, math 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 i can't even say it math skitball yeah, yeah. i like the that. numbers yeah, like no doubt they're gonna destroy Russ, bob listen what i'm telling you they're gonna say look at everybody he played with they're gonna say he played with lebron kd all these dudes he never won he got stats even AI didn't play with that much talent, bro. They're mm-hmm. gonna say they're gonna talk about all the dudes he played with, James Harden, all these legendary cats, and they're gonna say if, he ain't even win. They're gonna go back. He doesn't win, right? Gonna, right, ticket. If he uh, doesn't win, oh, if he don't who, win, they're gonna listen. He's not gonna win anything. Oh, well, right. listen, but hold on, he didn't even make the playoffs in LA. You got LeBron average man. They're gonna destroy this dude, bro. Keep it right doing it now. What, what do you think, bro? All the people that's coming up are gonna go off the narrative they put down from this dude. They only care about what he's doing right now. You couldn't listen before he came to LA. You couldn't say anything bad about Russell Westbrook to anybody. They would all fight you on it. Russell Westbrook had a legion of dudes. His whole defense team have abandoned him now since he played with the Lakers. I don't hear nobody trying to defend Russ. Maybe like four or five people in the world. Other than that, they crucify this dude and blame him for all the Lakers problems. And I told Chill Town, and I'm gonna tell you, Mars and Bob, and all you guys, when the boys' career is over with, man, because it's gonna be over in a couple years, they're gonna tear his ass to shreds. They're gonna say they're gonna they're not gonna care about his stats. They're not gonna care about the records he broke. They're not gonna care about any of that stuff. Look how they do Carmelo. Carmelo Anthony, they wouldn't even make you think he's a top ten scorer all time. They wouldn't even let you think you wouldn't even think that the way they the way they disgrace his career. They make them seem like he was just a score and not, not a good player, not nothing. Like he didn't lead a franchise for all those years to the playoffs in a tough West. You had to live through it to have context. What happened, bro? I'm telling y'all this stuff right here that's going on with Russ is killing his career. The fact that he couldn't get it done with KD in his prime. The fact he can't get it done with LeBron James out here averaging 30 at age 38 with AD on the team. Uh, when AD's healthy, you still couldn't get it right. But they on man, they, man, that man, man, he already know, man. He already know. The only people that's going to look at it differently is people who who appreciate that Russ yeah. played hard his career. You know what I'm saying? That those are the only people who going to really put respect on. Other than that, man, it's going to be like I am fighting with Mars and these dudes trying to show old school love. And tell him why these old school cats who came before guys that they praise now, you know, were greater. I, I'm, 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 where are you it's gonna come, but here's the I thing, though, ticket. The, here's the, here's the thing, though, ticket. The thing is, 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 Mars, you're an old head thinking. I'm Russell telling you, it's gonna. It, the, the, the thing <laughs> is, is it's gonna come back. That that that's what you don't have to worry about, though, ticket, because it's gonna come back, right? Because what are we in 2023? In 20 years, Kobe Bryant will almost be removed 30 years from the NBA, and there's gonna be people who are gonna say, and you were around Mars when Kobe Bryant was playing, and there's gonna be people who are gonna say. Yo, Kobe Bryant played against plumbers, and you're gonna want to strangle them. I and you're gonna like have to. Do- you say Will Chamberlain played against plumbers? I don't like them either. I'm with right. you. I, I've never no, been if on you that. Don't train, agree with that, Mars, You're get. in the minority, though. Yeah, I agree. I'm in the minority. I just don't right. know why this is coming at me as if I'm the person who's hating well, the old you're, generation. You're, 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 you're a representative. You're, you're a representative. That's why I'm all you. I'm not a representative of people I disagree you, with. You, I you are the leader of the Mars. You and Dub are the leader of the new era of foolishness on YouTube, man. And that's why, look, I'm going to tell you something, boy. I'm so ashamed of you, man. Because, Mars, you got to drop your nuts, man. I know your daddy low ain't around here to help you. So you feel kind of alone and kind of sad. But, bro. You have to be a man. If you're going to talk that stuff, bro, you see how Bobby came up here? He didn't like what I was saying. So what did he do? He came and confronted me on it from the first day. Bro, if you don't like the stuff Elder says, dog, drop your drop your nuts, puppy. Go over there and see Elder one-on-one. And I know I, why I you just, don't do I, just, I know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You got your fans fooled. All your little fans, all these little footy fans that's 18, 19 years old in the chat, you got that flood the chat rooms, that troll, you got them because the OGs don't need to troll. 
You got them people fooled. Yeah, man, I like one. You do got them fooled. But you dare won't take no punk ass in that arena with Elder one-on-one. -on -one. And guess what? You ain't got no excuse because Elder ain't going to yell over you like I do. Elder, so, ain't, he going to let, you, he gonna let you say what you say. He going to cook your ass. Speaking, I, I, speaking I, I, of Elder, okay. speaking of Elder, we do have a super chat. Um, and I believe it's something to do with Elder. Um, here we go. Yeah, it is. So how do y'all feel about Elder saying Kobe is a better defender than Tim Duncan? Also, he is. Lakers have been robbed. Shake my damn head. He is. No way. If you go look at Kobe's part of career, no. if you go look, look how many mm -hmm. first look how many teams, uh defensive teams Kobe made. Tim Duncan made more. And they get, uh, Tim Duncan made uh, more. That's so probably don't no, know. No, I'm no no no. I'm saying from his position, you gotta remember. Tim Duncan's position is easier to guard than Kobe's position. Kobe's what? right. The guard position is the I'm hardest. Disagree. The guard Whoa. position. I'm the guard position. Hold, hold, hold. Stop, stop right, right there. No, no. The you're guard position is the hardest uh -huh. position to guard no. in the league. You're not That's selling a lie. us that. No, you're not selling us that. You're not. So are you the guard position. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Fluent, sure. fluent. Are you, are you, I'm asking you. Let me ask. Are you saying it's it's more difficult to guard on the perimeter than it is in the post? Yes. How is it more difficult to guard on the perimeter okay, than somebody so, 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 because it's harder? Hold on, because it's harder to contain your men on the post than it is on the perimeter than it is in the post. That's why you have big men behind you. So when the guards get blown by, these guards are too quick, too fast. If it was just you one on one, you ain't stopping none of the elite guards. Ticket, that logic, that, no, no, ticket. That logic doesn't work because you being a big man, you know that I, as a as a guard, I know that you could clean up my mess. You on the box covering the guy one on one many, closer to the basket. On. You covering the guy many, one on one players, closer to the basket. It's just you. Hey, how many greater players were guards versus bigs in the league in the history? It was more guards, bro. More wings, bro. When you talk about the athleticism, because look, even if you look back in that era, bro. Yeah, we say this, we say that. But Amari Stoudemire, he destroyed them, Duncan. How great of a defensive player was that to, for Amari to come out there and destroy them? These Tim are Duncan was, I mean, uh, um, no. Amari, that's a hard matchup for anybody. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. People what I'm saying. People what I'm saying. People what, what I'm saying. So now you take a dude like T-Mac in his prime. I don't want nobody right. stopping him. AI in his prime. I nobody stopping him. Mike in his prime. I want nobody stopping him. Kobe in his prime. I want nobody stopping him. Carmelo in his prime. Ain't nobody stopping him. D-Wade. LeBron. Ron, the list goes on. And all and of these I, I, I can make a list of wins. Right, Curry, ticket, I, can, I, I, I can do the same. I, ticket, I can do the same thing with, if I'm not mistaken, Tim Duncan had to deal with Carl Malone, the league MVP. He's got to deal with that dude. And he's got okay, to deal okay, with Amari Stoudemire. Okay, so you got, hold on, two down. No, 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 no. And he's got to deal with Carl Malone, right? And he's got to deal with Amari Stoudemire. And he's got to deal with all these guys. I know your I know your vote. Ticket, you you think it's harder to guard the perimeter than the post. Jay, are you saying it's harder to guard the post than it is the perimeter? Yes, it is because on the on the box. Let it finish, ticket. Let it finish. The reason why it's more difficult to cover on the box than it is on the perimeter, number one, you're closer to the basket. Number two, you don't have anybody to clean up your messes. Once Tim Duncan gets the ball and he goes quick, it's just you and him. If I am on the perimeter and I got whoever in front of me and I get blown by you as a big man ticket, you can clean up my mess. Even though okay, my man does not have the basketball. basketball. Even though my man does not have the basketball. Let me give hey, let me answer that. Let me answer that. Let me answer that. Go ahead. Fluent. Fluent. Go ahead. Who is who is it harder to guard? Carl Malone or Michael Jordan? Who is it hard to guard? Yo get your Luka Donich. Who is it hard to guard? Tim Duncan or LeBron James? Who is it hard to guard? Ice boys easy work. Uh, no, but hold That's on. Not hold on. Ticket. I'll, I'll, I'll answer the question. I'll answer the question. Hold on. I want Bob. I want Bob's opinion first on perimeter or post. But let me just say this first. You can easily pick names because it's a lot easier to say who's harder to guard, Shaq or Duncan Robinson or I don't know Tyler Hero. And clearly it's Shaq. So you can make the same argument the other way. But Bob, tougher in your opinion, you play ball uh, on the perimeter or to guard in the post. Yeah, you know that's that's really a hard question to ask. At first, I, I've gone both ways uh, as far as answering this question, just in a short amount of time. So I'm gonna say it's pre it's pretty much about your skill set. Like, mm -hmm. um, if you if you if you're a bigger guy, obviously it's easier for you to guard because you might be slower than the guards or whatever. But to to Chill's point, if if I get beat on the block, like if 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 Kareem hits me with an open up bam spin move, I don't got no help. So I can I can see it from that point of view. 
um, where it'd be harder to guard on the, on the block. So, all right. Uh, let me, let now, what? 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 It's hard to guard the perimeter. Okay, so we got two perimeters, one post, and one half and half. So let me ask you this. Because the the conversation, I guess, what Elder had said was, Kobe's a better guard, uh, defender than Tim Duncan. I know this is based on versatility, but let me ask this. Could Tim Duncan guard in the post? Yes. Could he guard someone on the perimeter? Not a guard. Yes. Not a quick point guard. Hell no. no he stopped. What? No, no, no. So, 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 if, so if we're doing that, then ticket. No, I'm, I'm asking you a question. Say, Let me finish yes, my question. Could, could, Go ahead, not, not if it's not if it's a mismatch for one. Not if not if it, not if it's him matched up with Kyrie Irving. If he's matched up with another big, like if if, if Chris Webber or Rasheed Wallace brings brings him out, so then yeah, he can guard them on the perimeter. Yeah. Okay. Or or if it's a bigger wing, right? If it's a bigger wing, he can probably deal with him. As opposed to if Kobe Bryant gets switched on the block with Carl Malone, you think Kobe Bryant is dealing with Carl uh, Malone on the block? No, he's no, he's not. Not. So that's yeah, that's so the got to Kobe, Kobe do a better job on Carl Malone or yep. Tim Duncan on. Kobe on call. Allen Iverson. Kobe on call. There's nothing. Kobe on call. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Ticket. Please, please, please elaborate. Please elaborate. Please elaborate. Just killed him. Fluent. What's the hardest thing for a big man in the post is when a small guard gets on him down in the post. That's the hardest thing for a real big man is to be guarded by a guard in the post. But guess what? We all know this. With the crossovers, the step backs, all this stuff these guards have, it's harder to guard those guys on the perimeter. So let's just say. Take away the defense from behind those guys, right. and now you just one on one on the perimeter. It's hard to guard right. those guys because they're quicker, they're faster, they can handle uh -huh. the ball better, more craftier, right. and it's different, bro. In the post, guess what? Right. I'm looking at a dude in the post. Sometimes, okay, look, he may have a quicker first step to me, but right. they're not as quick to guard. So I maybe can move my feet and adjust better as a big man uh, mm -hmm. against big man than I can as a guard against guards. That's why you see. A all these guards going out here getting 40, 50, crossing over dudes, getting whatever they want to go, bro. Because it's, it, you, it ain't easy to go out there and say, I'm going to stop Steph Curry one-on-one. -on -one. Who do you think is harder to guard, Steph Curry or Jokic? Everybody knows Steph Curry. So cut the shit, man. Who do you no, think is whoa, 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 harder whoa, whoa, to guard? No, no, no. Offensively, I don't think that it's harder to guard Steph Curry than it is hey, yo, to that, guard that, Jokic. Been a damn no, hey, no, 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 ticket, ticket. No, that's not a lie. How is that a lie? You're telling, you're so telling he, me. You're telling me that because Joker doesn't shoot the ball from forty from thirty feet, Damn and right, is, is, and, and is accurate, and even though he can shoot the long ball, we're talking about Joker on the box. We're talking about Joker on the box, one on one. Whether he gets matched up with a smaller guy or he gets matched up with a bigger guy, they are all lunch down there. Right. Okay, None so guys, but when is he giving you? When is he giving you forty? When is he? How many times Steph Curry can come out here from anywhere on the court? Anywhere. Hold on. Hold on. You talking like Steph Curry is giving 40 every night? Hold on. 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 If not, that's he gonna shoot me. He gonna shake. He gonna pull you. He gonna bake you. And if right. uh, on a big man, he only has Rob, so many moves. Cut the Rob, shit, man. Rob that's came correct. In, Rob, that's came in, Rob came in with the super chat, and he his vote is for post, and he says because they have more responsibilities, they have to guard their man and help on any drives where the perimeter but, defender gets beat. And secure, but, but, and and secure the rebound. And and secure the rebound. And, and not, not just secure the rebound, but to, but let's get back to what Ticket was talking about. So a guy like Hakeem Olajuwon, who has a bevy of moves on the box, right? You are not going to be able to adjust to that. He can, And not only are you not going to be able to adjust to that, he plays closer to the basket. So because he plays closer to the basket and shoots a higher field goal percentage and the help doesn't come nearly as quick, if a guy like Steph Curry is on the wing and he's 30 feet away from the basket, at least I can get somebody over there quicker. And he has a less – not only not only can I get somebody over there quicker, I could get somebody over there where he has – where we can make it more difficult on him to shoot from 30 feet as opposed to a guy on a box – like Hakeem Olajuwon, who is eight feet away from the basket, who shoots a higher percentage. I can't oh, get nobody, don't, don't I can't get nobody down there that quick. Don't nod your head, Fluent. 
Do, do not nod. I see nod your head, fluent. Don't nod your head. Don't nod your head. Do not nod your head, fluent. Don't nod your head. Why is that? 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 Oh, so, bro, God. bro, that's that's. Oh, that, I don't, don't want to. I'm, 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 I'm gonna answer your question. I'm gonna answer your question. So this this is what I was gonna say. It's it's not about. So like how you saying how how you saying Tiki? So it's not necessarily about is it harder to guard a post or is it harder to, harder to uh, guard a guard? It's about which post or which guard I'm guarding. So I'm not. No, I'm no, not no, 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 no. In general, it's harder to guard the perimeter. You are changing that. You are changing it. You are changing this. Hold on. You're making it. Which is it? And I, I asked the question, so maybe it's my fault. Post or perimeter. That's why I wanted to start the conversation. But the question is, did Kobe guard basically the perimeter better than Duncan guarded the post? Because that's really that's really yeah, the comment. I think I think, I think, I think Duncan's a better defender. Duncan, yeah, Duncan's a better defender. I do think he's a better defender. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, ticket. Hold on. So let me ask you guys this then. So you you both think Duncan's a better defender. So I do. you're hold on. So, I okay, do too. So you're up. You're up one point. The other team has the ball. Who do you trust more to get that stop, Duncan or Kobe? Duncan. It depends on who they're guarding. If if they're guarding a guard, then I'm Kobe like Kobe. Kobe. They'll guard their equivalent. They'll guard their equivalent. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think they were both exceptional defense, defenders. Like Kobe was a great defender as well. I, I'm just gonna give the edge to Duncan. But if it's a guard with the ball, I want Kobe to guard him. If it's a, if it's man, a listen, guard, man, it's Kobe harder to guard. Him. It's Bob. It's harder to guard the perimeter. No, 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 it's more like, space to clear. Fix, it's more space to clear. It's more to get the stop. That's fair. Kobe, I understand that. I understand that. Fluent. Hey, fluent. Fluent. Stop this. Foolish is fluent. It's harder to guard the perimeter because it's more space to guard out there. The guards have more room to operate, bro. Y'all telling these boys lies and stuff in the comment section. You keep in the saying, post, you keep saying, in the post, ahead, on, in the post ahead, is limited space. It's limited space. It's harder to cover more ground and guard the perimeter than it is the post, bro. That's why most post guys, big men, don't like going out to the perimeter. It's bro. I'm, it's a nightmare. To be guarding Steph Curry on the perimeter versus having to guard Jokic. Because guess what? Jokic, he ain't got too many moves on the perimeter. He gonna hit you with a lazy pump fake and a one a slow drive, or in the post, he's gonna hit you with a hundred pump fakes. You know what he gonna do with Steph I mean, Curry? You're gonna get cooked regardless. But, but Jokic, I'm saying Jokic, with Steph Curry, Curry it's so much of a headache because guess why? His movement the ball. The, 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 the ball his too. space he has to move, his ball handling skills. Man, he'll wear you tired. Just just crossing you up the first time. Okay. So by the time so, you don't cross you the first time, you got to move your feet laterally. So, so, you are a liar. Divided. Devontae Wise hit us with the super chat, and he says perimeter is harder. In the post, you can use baseline as a defender, but on the perimeter, you're on an island by yourself. So no, because on, 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 on the perimeter, no, on the perimeter, true. On ahead, the perimeter, your you're, on the perimeter, your big man is your base, your baseline. Your the the guards rely on on us bigs, throw all the time. Now and uh, you, go ahead. I'm now, sorry. Fluent, I, know, I know you was a guard, and I'm, and I'm not saying you didn't play no D fluent, but I'm saying uh, he, that, you, I, he, he did. He didn't play no D, Bob. He did. He did. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I mean, I'm, I'm open speaking, about speaking, that. I'm open about I've, that. You know, I, I have had so many guards where they just like they just they just like this. Well, Bob, I thought you was gonna block it. Like, bro, I'm, I'm not David Robinson. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, we didn't like, do that. We funneled them Bob, to you. Bob. What's the difference? Now, funnel, now, funnel, you funneled them to you. Now, funneled them to you. Now, funneled you. Now, funneled them to 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 you. Now, funneled now, now, Fluent, if, if you ride if you ride them to the rim with your hands up, I guarantee I'm gonna come over the top and get that block for you. But a lot of guards are using their big man as their perimeter as the baseline that, that he just said that the bigs are using, which is true. If I if I can get him wrapped up on the on the baseline, then cool, because he, he's only can spin back into me. But a lot of times guards are like, oh my big big fella right there. I'm gonna just let him go right there. Oh, I'm, I'm capping, man. And and and, 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 and as a, and, and as a perimeter player, and as a perimeter player, what I can also do is I can keep you if when you have the basketball, I can do everything that I can to keep you on one side of the floor. Ticket, you bring up this logic. Do you ticket, you're talking about you talking about this logic. You talking about this logic. You talking about you talking about this logic of tiring a guy. Can you imagine what happens when Shaq is beating guys up in the post hell and those guys are diving? Hell, these, these, these guys hell, are, these, these you are guys. going to hell, How is this a lie? How is this a lie? You're going to hell. Are you lying like these kids like that, when bro? You bet, when you bury in a guy underneath the basket <laughs> yes. one, two, three times, how much that's tiring on a guy? You're talking hell, about a guy running around in the perimeter? Hell, You're talking hell. about a guy as opposed hell, to a guy in the post. You're going to hell, man. 
All right, I'm done talking to Ticket. You go on ahead. I'm, I, I, Phil, clearly, I'm a liar. Like, like, I'm a liar. I'm a liar. You acting like Phil Tell. I'm a liar. You I'm, I'm done talking to Ticket. Y'all acting like God don't help big men too. Y'all acting like God don't help big men too. God don't fight for 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 big men too. The, the, so everybody's divided. So we're gonna move on. We're gonna do. Here's what we're doing. Go do a couple more yeah, super chats, and then we're gonna get to. Hey, and you acting like big, and you and you acting like you being a big man on top of that. Ticket, you being I'm a big man ticket, and I'm playing with, down I'm on the box. Ticket. How difficult I, it is to cover a dude. I'm with you. Ticket. To the basket, Kobe, when it's through, I'm never going against Kobe in any game. All right. To prove Bobby's point, look at the Cavs defense. Is there something in the Cavs defense that would suggest Evan Mobley and Jared Allen carry Jared defense? Allen? That's the point. Because we know Donovan Mitchell ain't playing a little bit. Hey, he's been playing a little bit better defense this well, year. Well, I mean, yeah, better, better, but I mean, compared to what? You know, yeah, compared I mean, maybe, to maybe it's because his life looks easier. When he <laughs> hey, Bobby, y'all bringing any importance to the bigs helping? Because it's harder for the guards to stop people on the perimeter, like I said. It, it could be when? that. It could be that, but it also could be them just knowing that I have my big man down there to cover for me. Bob, how many times have you been in the game? Bob, uh, uh, Bob, but still talking about fluent. I don't know y'all fluent. I don't know y'all size fluent. I don't know y'all height, uh, chill, I'm and six Bobby. Four. I'm six four. I'm, I'm six four. But, but, but look, but look. How many times? How many times? As a big man, Bobby, you've been like, "Damn, man, this is keep getting blown out on the perimeter." Bobby. He want me to help every time. What? Well, how many times is the guard getting blown by, or a big number? No, you be in the game. You be in the game. Play. You be throwing like this man getting blown by every time, and then you pick up fouls because you got to go help on D because he can't keep his man in front of him. Chill down, know what I'm talking about? Acting like he can't help man. It happens a lot. Wait, wait, it happens wait, a lot. Ticket. I ain't saying that that does not happen. happen but you know, but you know what else happens too? You get put on the box and you get put in the blender because you got a big man on you that's kicking your ass. I don't mean you in particular, but you got a big man on you that's kicking your ass and he putting you in foul trouble and I. I'll be damned if you ain't looking at me going, are you going to help me with this dude or do I have to cover him by myself? Because you do the or, same thing down there on the box. You do the to, same to go, thing. To go, to go further with that chill too. So there has been times where maybe if I got a, a guy that might be a little heavier, a little bigger, and I'm having a, I'm having a hard time fronting him, I'm looking at my guard like, yo, you got to make that pass harder. Are you going to help me? You can't, you can't are you let gonna him help me? Me? down to my man all day. You know? down a double, yeah, for sure. Yeah, something, yeah. you know. If we can get him to dribble once, we stripping that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, um, a like bit. I said, the chat is divided. The panel is divided. So we are going to jump into some super chats. Um, here we go. This one's probably for you. Um for for you, uh, I was gonna call. I am gonna. I was gonna call you Mars. No team. I'll answer it. No team. If Draymond, no team, if Draymond, Draymond was team. if Draymond was dra no was team. not drafted by the Warriors, which team that he would have gone? No, you would have never heard of. You would have never heard of him. You would have never heard of him. You would have never heard of Draymond Green. You he would have been like the dude that's on the Orlando Magic bench that you ain't never heard about. You would have never heard about that guy if he didn't play with Steph Clay. KD and all them other dudes, you would have never heard about that guy. Warrior Mars, you agree? No. I tried. I tried to tell him, Ticket, uh, mm -hmm. if if he would if he would have went somewhere, if he would have went to the Spurs, he just would have been the worst DeJuan Blair. He would have been out the league. He would have been out the league in five years. Well, about the league in years. So everybody, do like Mars, everybody agrees. Do you have the league in, Mars, do you have? Do you, I, I, I think I don't. I don't think he would have looked as good in other systems. But I think if you put him, for example, in like Portland next to Dame and Lamarcus Aldridge at the time, I think he would have looked good in that system once he developed. Oh, yeah, in Portland, he would have been out. He would have been out the league in two years. That's fine. Two years. I mean, me, two okay, years. So that's fine. Ma, 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 you got. Are we talking about the same dude who, as the facilitator, right? And as the, he was, he was a facilitator and a defender, and he came into a system that was tailor made for what he did. There aren't many teams in the league that are tailor made for what Draymond did. You have to have a certain skill set to play for the Golden State Warriors. That's why it worked for him. That doesn't mean that if he ends up in Boston in 2012, if he ends up in Philadelphia while the process is going on in 2013, <laughs> you think this dude is still in the NBA? Well, he didn't come into the league in a system that was tailored for him because the Warriors in 2013 weren't tailored for him. He got onto the court because he was a great defender right. and he, under, he understood how to play defense. That's a that's lie. That's a, that's a lie. He got onto the court because the all-star they had David Lee got hurt. Stop lying, he Jabroni. Was, he, was play, he was playing two Stop years Stop lying, Jabroni. The only reason why he got onto the court 
It's because the All Star they had. He was came playing in for two years before that. that. He was playing in 2014. He was playing in 2014. Hold on, come out, come out. I watched the Warriors. Warriors. I'm asking a question. Did he not? Did he not move into the starting lineup because of the David Lee injury? Yes, that's why he moved into the starting lineup. That's not. So that's why. Play, playing so is more than starting. He was playing in his second year because he. He was in the court. rotation. Exactly. He was in the rotation. I don't know. I don't know what this guy. I don't know what he's talking about. So he was in the rotation. He got onto the court because of his great defense. He wasn't used as a playmaker at all because they still ran a pick and roll offense. They didn't use him that way. He got into the court solely because of his Chill defense. Down. And David Lee went. Well, let me down. ask. Let me ask Mars. Let me David ask Lee went where down. They still went using him as a playmaker. Portland. I think, I think where Portland, else do you think would have? He would have be been okay. Portland. He'd be useful. Nowhere. I, I um, asked Mars to get hold on. I think Portland. He'd be useful because of his defense. Um, twenty twelve. What other teams? San Antonio, um, Oklahoma City. San these are the better. These, these are the these are the better teams yeah. in the league. Miami, o OKC Miami. could have used. Them. Oh, he he's he's he would he wouldn't be useful in terrible fine teams. anywhere where he like, has a good team yes. with great shooters where he yes. can just. That's play. not it. That's not true, bro. That's not. Listen, 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 listen. Floyd, 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 listen to this. Listen to this. The reason why it worked is because he was playing with the two greatest shooters that ever played basketball, bro. If you're not, because watch this. If you put him with the Portland Trailblazers. You're the coach of a different team. What are you gonna do for it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pack your defense in on, 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 uh, big fella, on Orange and on Dane, and I'm gonna make Draymond Green beat me. He can't. He can't. Now you have to take him off the court because he can't beat me. Period. That's the most, okay. Those are fat. Hold on. He'd have been unplayable because he can't beat you offensively, and he had to have a special system to where he pushed the ball up transition. It was getting everybody else involved. So who was going to be the other elite scorer on that team with Damon LaMarcus Aldridge that was going to keep the defense off Draymond's ass? I'll wait, Mars. Wait, I wasn't listening to you. CJ, CJ McCullough, but he hadn't been. CJ no, he McCullough wasn't on that team. CJ, he CJ, there. CJ McCullough, so, oh, CJ oh, McCullough he, had, he, but in 2013. Yeah, CJ got drafted. Yeah, C, he, he, wasn't, draft he wasn't that until right, 2013. So, yeah, right, so, 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 right. Still, he would have made Draymond Green have to be a scorer. Any coach. If you're a coach, still, fluent, Bobby, y'all would have made Draymond have to be scored. And guess what? Yep. He was got the man have no post moves. The man got a backpack jump shot from three that's not consistent. He ain't no scorer, bro. That, that was the plan. That was the plan. It, that was the plan. Which I'm still, I'm still confused about why that hasn't been the plan. Like moving forward, like I'm watching the, I'm watching teams double team Draymond on the block, and I'm like, what the hell are you guys doing? I didn't understand that, but that was the plan. In that series in 2016, like if you're gonna win, Draymond, you got to go for 40. We slowing these other guys down. That was the plan with Draymond. We're gonna eat whatever production that he gives out. Now, with that being said, Mars, we got to remember, we got to remember who Draymond was coming into the game. Draymond was he wasn't a scorer, even though mm -hmm. he could score, he was not a scorer. He was a defender, he was a rebounder, and he was a facilitator. Now that only works on that Golden State Warriors team because of what they had with Drake with. Um, Clay Thompson and Steph Curry being the long ball shooters and the way that, the way that they're able to stretch the defense, which gave Draymond other opportunities in transition, particularly to score. But when the game starts to slow down, when the game starts to slow down and then you start to scheme against him, I think that he would have struggled. Now, if you put him on another team like Detroit and uh, even, a, even a lower level playoff team like Milwaukee in 2014, 2015, something like that. Now, I think we're talking about a completely different Draymond because now his deficiencies come out. And the stuff that he can't do, he's got to now do that even more. See, he wasn't able, he didn't have to do that in Golden State because they was able to hide a lot of the stuff that he didn't have to do. A lot of the stuff that he couldn't do, I mean. So do you feel the same way about Ben Simmons when that Ben Simmons is going to be out of the league soon? I think that that 100%. How is he still in the league? Well, not, 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 only, not, not only that, if you look at what Ben Simmons is doing, that's why, I, that's why I'm out on Brooklyn because he's the X factor. He's the guy who we can't hide him. He's terrified of the free throw line. Not only is he terrified of the free throw line, he's terrified of the ball because he's mm. going to have to go to the free throw line, and that's going to be their Achilles heel. He looks like he doesn't know how to play basketball. So the he's reason worse why than Draymond Green. I think that when he was in Philadelphia, I think when he was in Philadelphia, guys like Embiid, I think that they were able to, and, and Tobias Harris, because they were able to shoot the ball and score in the post, I think they were able to mask a lot of his deficiencies. Now I, that he's I think Draymond Green has something that Ben Simmons does not, because the one thing you can't say about Draymond Green is that he doesn't have like that fire, that mm -hmm. competitiveness. Uh, ben Simmons not only doesn't have 
a lot of the skill sets that you need to be a successful NBA player. He also doesn't have that drive and that desire. It doesn't look like it. it doesn't look, I shouldn't say that because I don't know. It doesn't look like he has it. At least I think you can say. I think you can say it. You could take. You could take Ben's heart. I say it you pretty confidently, but I don't know. So let me. Just say, you could take. You could like take Ben's heart. You're not taking Draymond's heart. That's one thing you're not yeah. doing to Draymond. Like, well, I, I don't know. You ain't, you ain't got to. You, you ain't got to back off that. You. That's a fact. Yeah. You right. You ain't no, got to back I off mean, that. Well, well, no, I'm, I'm just I'm, down. No, he not. Yeah, Draymond, Draymond not breaking down, but I, you know, I, I did see a little Sometimes shaking and stuff. Uh, 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 can I come out of timeout now? Can I these, come out of timeout and say something? You would have. Go ahead. Put me on mute. Put me on mute. Put me on mute. Come out of timeout and say something. I absolutely did not put you on mute. I don't do it. Drew, 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 you throw green punches out Charles Oakley like he did Jordan Poole? Does he punch? Oh, I never, I never, no, I never, I never, I never, you heard what I said. You heard what I said. No, no, no. Let me repeat my question. No, no, no. You, don't have to, you don't have to repeat it. Ticket, now because time out. Hold on. You cannot put down Draymond Green for punching Jordan Poole because if it was for the I asked you a question. No, 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 no. You missed my question. You missed my question. You know, know. To, to answer your question, ticket, no. To answer your question, ticket, Draymond Green is not punching Charles Oakley. Okay, so guess what? No, he ain't no, what y'all say he is then. Because if y'all no, keep whoa, 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 whoa. Why, why, why? Because he won't punch Charles Oakley in the face. No one's he, punching he, Charles he's Oakley. Not okay, okay, okay chill, chill. Let me ask you a question. Chill. Let me ask you this question. I'm going to the screen. Do you think Draymond Green would have pulled the same type of annex on his Aiden McDaniel, Rick Mahorn? Uh, Dale yeah, Davis, yeah, Antonio Davis. Do you think he would have pulled the same? Do you think hey, he would have pulled the same? That he pulled him off the second for those guys. Her, not Bill Cartwright. I'm asking you. Do you think he would have pulled them same answers on those guys? You punch and certain you don't. Here's the thing. No, no, I mean, no, no, no. Hey, hold on, so fluid. We, I'm naming all those guys no, no, that was in the air that came before him. He would not. So, so what I'm saying is, so he ain't built like that then. Because That's if you ain't going to do the same thing, thing, you ain't oh, hold on, hold on, chill, chill. Listen, ahead, listen to my logic. Ahead, listen to my logic. Listen to my logic. Phil, we know one thing. All those dudes that did that in that era, they'd have did that in any era. They would come from a different cloth. It was no era they wasn't going. It was no era that, uh, what's old boy's name for the uh, pisses? Uh, the big white boy in the, in the post that was uh, Bill, Bill Lambert. Lambert. Bill Lambert. Lambert. Every, listen, that's the one thing I respect about Bill Lambert. He ain't discriminate, baby. He going at everybody. Everybody getting fouled hard. Everybody getting clothes line. Draymond Green and cut from that club. He picks now, wait a minute. and choose. Now, now here's the difference. Not, that, that, his, 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 well, go ahead, go ahead, Bob. No, no, go ahead. I just want to say that. That's his, not, his, I wasn't his, here's that the difference. Here's the difference with that logic, though, Ticket. The, the difference with that logic is all of those guys that you brought up. Where are those guys today? The reason why they're not around because that's not the game today. The enforcer is gone. And because the enforcer is gone, that game is no longer going on. So guys like Markeith Morris, the, the Morris brothers, uh, Draymond, that game is gone. So those guys, so the enforcer, because the, because the enforcer is because the enforcer is gone. That's not the game anymore. That's now, why Miami now, is relevant because they got no. one of the last ones in the league. Actually, and he ain't on Miami. Miami. Final, he's in Philadelphia. And that's why they were shot away from the final that's, last year. It, that's not true. That that that's not true at all. It's, it's not because it's not because you're not because you're telling me you're telling me you're telling me you gonna sit up here and tell the whole world that old boy ain't in the league for one reason on Miami Heat squad. You don't have PJ. You don't have him. Oh, you don't have him. Hey, he is not. He is not in the league. You wait, 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 wait. on that team for one reason, and that's to get shit in line. And you, we all know it. And he's the re he's that's the re he's the I one. Put the the, but he's the one who pushes the buttons. And I and this is what I think the league went wrong. They should have one player like they used to have on every single team that's an enforcer. You know why? Because all that Russell Westbrook stuff it gets cut out. All this foolishness you see on these teams with Kyrie Irving stuff, all that stuff gets cut out. Because when you had that enforcer. That was willing to take it to any of those guys on the team. You didn't have to worry about these dudes disrespecting the coaches. You didn't have to worry about these dudes getting out of line and acting like fools because you had somebody on the team that was going to take care of that and that was going to patrol the team. They don't have that no more, except for in Miami. But guess what? Even though Miami hasn't had the most talent, they, they always I mean, been there close to the end. Baby. The lead let, me clear, right. let, me, let me clarify what I mean. Do you think MJ would have hit Anthony Mason instead of Kerr? No. Hell no. If, 
This is one thing you don't know about Mike. One, and you can ask, I ask cats who played with me. I know cats who played with Mike. Mm -hmm. Mike didn't care who it was. He was going at anybody. Mike would tell his teammates, look, man, this month, if this motherfucker found me that punch him in his face, everybody say, hey, I'm right there behind you. Period. Mike didn't care who it was, where it was, or how it was going to get that. He was going to fight you. The same thing like Kobe Bryant. Kobe fought Shaq. Kobe didn't care. He wasn't going to discriminate. Whoever it was, he was coming back at you. Period. So you got certain dudes like that's cut like that that ain't afraid of nothing. They tough as nails, man. But Draymond let me, Green let me, let me ain't one of them dudes. Team. He ain't one of the ones, man. He ain't one of the ones. Why? Okay. Why do you think he's the modern day one? Hold on. You not, Fluent. You not, he's we, the modern day one. Fluent. We saw Tristan Thompson uh, punch the man in the face with a basketball. In the face, the man did nothing. We did see that. Yes, we did. That's a sign. In his face, he punched yes, the man in his yes, face. Did. Then told to come to the back. Man did nothing. Come on, man. Cut he it out, man. That. Let me clear up some let me clear up some super right, chats in the final. from the old topics. Let me clear some super chats from old topics because I do want to get into this sixer stuff. Uh enforcers. So raw enforcers would average five minutes and five fouls a game today. I I'll take it for the minimum salary. Um who's a better defender? <laughs> Embiid or Marcus Smart? Marcus Smart. Embiid. Marcus Smart did too much flopping, man. MB. Shit, he flop too. Yeah, but he don't flop like Marcus Smart, though. Marcus Smart is the king of that. It's a lot, bro. Of, it's, it's a lot of extra stuff with Marcus Smart. A lot man, of extra it's crazy stuff. With that but, dude, the, but, the, but the flip, but the flip side to that is MB don't rebound like I'd like him to. I think he could be a much better rebounder than he is. And I think he could be a much better rim protector, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um power rankings came out. And I gotta ask you. The Philadelphia 76ers were put on at number one. The Philadelphia mm -hmm. 76ers were put at number one. Are they the best team in the league? Or we haven't talked about them at all as a as a championship contender. So, or are they pushing an agenda? I don't they're, think they're, they're contenders, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, I said I said they're the best team in the league. I think it's dependent on health, and I saw Doc Rivers make adjustments against Denver, so maybe there's progress being made with him. I don't know. So it's, it's dependent on Doc Rivers being a competent coach, injuries, and if they're that's not healthy. true. You say competent coaching Doc Rivers, that's not true, because it depends on James Hart. It depends on that dude with titties and in in wearing a full-blown triple, triple, 34 triple D. It depends on him. Do he show up in the play? Do he show up when it's time? That's what it depends on. Is Joel Embiid sick again in the playoffs? Doc Rivers can't control that. He can't control Joel Embiid always getting hurt at the worst times. He can't control Joel Embiid always getting sick and missing big playoff games. He can't control when James Harden go three for 18 in the playoffs and don't act like he want to shoot the ball and the man straight fold the tense like he want to quit every single year something new when it's the biggest moments. That's on them. Players got to play. We already know this. That's why we say you get paid the big bucks to deliver. You can always blame the coaches, but guess what? Guess what? Guess what? It's most a lot of the great coaches. We never blame when they lost. You know why? We put the blame on the star players because the star players always took it when they didn't get it done. James Harden is what this thing depends on. They paid him to come over. They traded him to come over there and be the difference maker. You seen what happened last year? Every year something new with, with Joel and B the playoffs. How that? How is that Doc Rivers fault? This fool got the flu one year. How is that Doc Rivers fault? This man don't broke his eye socket one year. How is it Doc Rivers fault? This man don't hurt his arm one year. That's not Doc's fault. That's their fault. Step up he should have never, never been in that game. That, right. He, he but look, but James Harden didn't do nothing. I am mean, shit. You ain't never going to hear me defending James Harden. So. So that's all I'm saying. Well, that's what I'm saying. The bars. Are, the Sixers, are the Sixers, Bob, are the Sixers a, a legit championship contender? No. No. Just no. like that, no. No. Any, any because reason? You put them in seven games. You put them in seven games series against Miami, they lose. You put them in a seven-game series against the Bucks, they lose. You put them in a seven-game series against the Celtics, they lose. They ain't no championship contender. They just gave you three things that could be in a seven-game series. I'm gonna I'm gonna say no because they got to rely on James Harden and, and uh, James and uh, Joel, and if and I haven't seen it yet, so I think they got they definitely got the talent. Like James Harden and Joel and B, they got the talent to win it. I just seen both of them come up short too many times to assume that they're gonna do something other than that this time. 
So I will, if they do do it, will I be shocked? Like, oh, I can't believe they were good enough. No, I'm going to be shocked that they followed through and got it done. So actually watching, man, you see other people say blaming Doc Rivers? You, you, say you see other people in the comments are blaming Doc, man? Yeah, Y'all sad. Y'all talking about Doc with the Clippers. So, That's not Doc fault that Paul Jones hitting the side of the backboard in, in game seven. That's not Doc fault Kawhi Leonard paying up with 14 points in game seven. They got walked down. That's not Doc fault. Doc did oh, what not, not, not only them, but, not only them but, uh, but Tobias Harris, too. Ain't no telling when Tobias going to disappear. Come on, man. He plays his guys. Yo, when you get paid like that, your coach, his job is to pay the, play the guys who get paid the money. So y'all keep talking about Doc, Doc, Doc. Doc played Paul George. He played Kawhi. Them dudes so came up no, short. They got the no walk down. You put, no weight, but, you put but, no weight in Doc Rivers blowing three, three, one leads. It's all bro, on the Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's on the players. T Mac, okay. the first year, what was he doing? He sit up there bragging about how, yeah, man, I'm going to the second round or first, second round for the first time, man. We we finished. Series ain't even over with. And then what did he do the next few games? Didn't get it done when it was alive. How's that dead for? Doc ain't coming to go up there and run his mouth before the series is over with. Y'all got to look at some of this stuff, man. Look, look at, at it. Okay, chill, 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 chill. Chill. What do you think? Are, are the Sixers are the Sixers a legit contender to win the East? One of the things that I saw from Doc Rivers that I was pretty impressed with was Doc made an adjustment when I watched that game. Doc made an adjustment where Joel and B got into foul trouble early. He put P.J. Tucker on Joker. And not only did he put P.J. Tucker on Joker, he put Joel Embiid on Aaron Gordon. Now, hmm. Joker, his ability to get into the get to into the teeth of the defense and make plays for Aaron Gordon helps their offense. Now, when Embiid is covering I mean, Embiid is covering Aaron Gordon, he takes that away. Now, that was an adjustment that Doc Rivers made that was big time. That I was surprised at that he did that. No doubt about that. It could have backfired because Joker could have basically just went after P.J. Tucker. But he didn't, and I was surprised that he did not go after him. But with that also being said, I know who James Harden is. I've seen him more than once, more than twice, more than three times when we get into the playoffs. What we forget is we forget that game seven in, against against Milwaukee when, when, when they played against Brooklyn when KD hit that shot to send the game into overtime. A lot of people forget James Harden was on that crew. A lot of people forget that not only was James Harden on that crew, not only was he on that crew, he didn't give them much. Well, he was injured. The reason why he was injured, because he doesn't take care of his body. And that's why he breaks down at the end of the season. Now, all of a sudden, James Harden shows up in the camp and he's in the best shape of his life. And he's 22 and 10 this year, which is not something that's unusual because I've seen it from James Harden before. I've seen him put these kind of numbers up. But the difference is, is when we get into the playoffs and he starts to slow down, when teams start to scheme against him with that one on one action that he has at the top of the key where he's pounding the basketball. And that's simple to guard. That is not difficult to guard when it's one guy pounding the basketball at the top and you got no action anywhere else. That breaks them down. So until I see something different from him and Joel Embiid in the playoffs, I'm not sold. Can I ask y'all a question? So why, yeah. why, 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 is, why is Doc Rivers, and I want to ask you to this, Mark, why is Doc Rivers' name being brought up so much that he's a prop? Can I ask y'all a question? What, what is Chris Paul's reputation in the playoffs? Chris Paul's reputation in the playoffs is – He's a playoff choker. Oh, that's his reputation. Okay, okay. So, so that's Doc Rivers' fault. Did that that fool choke it with the Clippers, with the strippers? That's his fault. Is is that is that Doc Rivers' fault that Paul George went and did the foolishness with the man's daughter, then got 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 absolutely embarrassed by Seth Curry, then went and married a stripper? Is that Doc Rivers' fault and came out there? That has, that has nothing to do with this thing. You're talking about game. basketball. It's no, 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 no. Is that Doc Rivers' fault? No, no, no. Is that Doc Rivers' fault? Is that Doc Rivers' fault? Is that Doc Rivers fault? Is that, hold on, sure. no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that Doc Rivers' fault that the man was going Possibly. through mental issues and admitted, admitted that he was? Is that Doc Rivers' fault that Kawhi Leonard came up small in the game seven because he was tired because Paul George was nowhere to be found the entire series when Kawhi was trying to carry him through the playoffs? Ticket, why, 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 why are you leaving out the fact that, Ticket, why are you leaving out the fact that, why are you leaving out the fact, Ticket, that it's your job as a coach to make adjustments? So if my player. Next man who, up. If my player in Paul George, who made it clear that mentally he was struggling, like, all right, so I got to make an adjustment here. Kawhi Leonard, who is also struggling, I got to make an adjustment. It's not just throw these guys out here okay. and just okay. let them rock. No, oh, uh, it's not just throw these guys out here and just let them play, and whatever happens, happens. No, that's the coach's job to okay, – when Kawhi Leonard it, is not knocking down that 15-footer, all right, I got to make an adjustment. I got to speed – I got to speed – no, 
I got to speed the game up, and I got to get Kawhi Leonard maybe some buckets in transition to get his hey, confidence cool. up. Not only that, so what I'm also going to do with Kawhi Leonard, what I'm also going to do with Kawhi Leonard is I'm going to switch him onto another guy so he can get some rest on defense so he can be more effective on offense, which he didn't do that. Right. So it's not just the idea of just throwing guys out there and just letting them rock and letting them figure it out. Some in some cases, it's that because Phil Jackson has done that in some cases. Okay, but in a lot of cases, I do have to make adjustments. So, and so and Doc Rivers question. is notorious, so the, Doc the, Rivers the, is notorious for not making adjustments. Hey, hold on. Hey, fluent, fluent. Well, this fluent. Let me ask you one thing. Fluent. He's about to destroy him. Fluent. It's about to end him. There's one question. One question. So you you done now. Kill Tab. You should have never. You should have never. F with a cat like me. Kill Tam. So the Miami he had benched LeBron James in the finals that first year when he came up small. Say it. Say it. Should they have should they have benched him? Don't stutter. Do not stutter. There, 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 when the finals, just, he was in the I'm not finals, gonna stutter. I'm, I'm, when the heat was in the finals and D Wade was balling, Chris Bosch was balling, and LeBron was coming mm -hmm. up small in the fourth quarter yep. every day. Yep. Did the Miami he have made the adjustment and benched him? Because or should that, they have that, that very well could they have rolled or should they have rolled with the king? That they did roll with the king, but that could have been an adjustment that could have been made. Let's get him out of the lineup and let's let him watch the game. So, so you, and see so the game you would have been so you, you been, been, you been very, don't, ask, don't, ask me what, don't, ask, don't ask me what I would have done. You're asking me what they should have done. Don't ask me that. What I'm telling you is simple. That could have been that could have been an option. Let him sit down and let him watch for a while and see what adjustments need to be made. That's what a coach does. As opposed to just parking him on the bench and you ain't playing no more because you ain't playing good. No, that's not the way that works as a coach. You let him sit down. You let him watch the game. You let him see adjustments that need to be made. And when you see adjustments that need to be made, then you come out. Now, if he doesn't, now if he doesn't react to those adjustments, now that's on him. But you have to put him in a position to do that as opposed to, yo, just throw him out there and let him figure it out. And if he doesn't figure it out, just put him on the bench. No, take it doesn't work that way. Will we see the 76ers in the Eastern Conference final Mars? Hell no. I, I, I believe so. The question wasn't for you. I believe so. You believe so? Yes. Uh, chill. No. Bob. No. Ticket. Hell no. Y'all already know Hell what I said. No. Okay. So Hell let me no. ask you this. So Joel Embiid, a lot, I know it was one game, but a lot of people said he really outplayed Jokic. In their last meet meeting, we know that he finished second in MVP voting to Jokic two years in a row, and he sits currently second in MVP, you know, where they do the power rankings and stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you think there is any type of push to get Embiid over that hump after that game? Or do you think, guys, that was just one good game that he played? Well, I don't think it was one good game. That Go ahead, Bob. I'm sorry. No, no, you got it. Go ahead. Oh, Bob, 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 Bob. Let Bob go. We don't hear Bob and Mars enough. I think uh, I think Joel is obviously good enough to get to be MVP, and I don't. But I don't think that Doc and his playing staff, his coaching staff, and that Joel should be focused on. We have to do what we have to do to get you MVP. They need to be getting ready for these playoffs. See, and that's and that's another thing right there. Like we worried, he worried about MVP and stuff. We need to get we need to get a, a strong playoff run. We need to get get focused on that. So I don't think there's going to be like a push for Joe. I mean, there is because obviously like what, what, what we've been talking about is um, what's it called? The voters fatigue. So yeah, they want somebody else to get MVP and I'm fine with that. I, I, Joel, Joel, right. If he does, if he gets it, he rightfully deserves it. He's been playing his ass off, but I don't think that should be the focus for anybody on that coaching staff or anybody in that locker room is to get Joel MVP. I don't, I just don't think that should be the push right now. Yep. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, is it fair that, Joker may be the Patrick Ewing of this era where you have a bunch of big men that he got caught up in that era and as good as he was, he just couldn't get over the hump. Like with Ewing, he couldn't get over the hump with Olajuwon or David Robinson. Maybe we, we may be looking at a guy in Joel Embiid who may get caught up in that kind of era right now because as good as he's been and as good as he's been playing, it just hasn't been enough. And, and the reason why it hasn't been enough it's because when it matters the most, he rolls over. That, and I don't think so, too. You don't think, think so, I, Mars? No, I think oh, – No, I said that. I, I Honestly, I think it's the other way. I think Pat – I think that's actually looking more like Joel as, as being more of that Patrick Ewing guy right now. That's what now, he said. Didn't he say Joel? 
Yeah. Oh, I thought you said Jokic. My bad. I thought you said Jokic. My bad. My bad. No, no, he said no. He said Joel is that Patrick Ewing can't get over That's the hump. What I'm talking about. Mrs. Fluent oh, okay, told me okay. just today at lunch she feels like if Kawhi doesn't get that four bounce lucky shot, the Sixers win and they win the championship that year over the Warriors. Would that have I made a difference? They, I don't think they was that far away. I don't know if they were. They weren't beating Kawhi. They weren't beating Kawhi in that year, bro. They went. That team wasn't gonna be Kawhi. I mean, they they, they 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 lost in a game seven on a buzzer. The game seven in on overtime. Shot. Yeah, you know, in overtime. I mean, excuse me, no, they weren't gonna beat the Warriors in the finals. My bad. They, even oh. even with the Warriors injuries, they weren't gonna beat the oh. Warriors, bro. Oh, I'm wow. not sure if they. I'm not sure if they get past Milwaukee either. I don't know. So what yeah, does Embiid need? What does Embiid need to do to prove it to you guys? Because it sounds like even Mars, who kind of says, "Yeah, I'll see them in the Eastern Conference Finals," I didn't feel that you were very confident with that. So. What is it about Embiid, or what does he have to do to get him over the hump? So I think the East, is just, the, the East is just stacked, so that's why I'm not confident. You've got Boston, Milwaukee, and Brooklyn, who I think all have a shot. So that's why I'm not 100%. And Cleveland are a good team as well. I mean, mm -hmm. Miami maybe, but there's a lot of teams in the East. That's why I'm not 100% confident. I do think it's predicated on health. Joel Embiid hasn't had a fully healthy playoff run ever, if I can recall correctly. So that, that's a problem. James Harden last season in the playoffs wasn't good. Um, whether or not some people believe that's because his hamstring still wasn't 100%. Some people believe he's just not good in the playoffs. But they're all valid concerns. Doc Rivers, in my opinion, is a valid concern. So there's a lot of reasons why I'm not 100% confident. But with the MVP thing, I think, I think when you look at MVP, I think these like big marquee matchups, they make a big difference. For example, 2020. We remember the game Giannis had against the Lakers when he crowned himself, all of that. He had like what he had a crazy game, made like five threes. That was a big turning point for his MVP campaign because it was him against LeBron. He right. won that game, made the five threes. That really propelled his MVP case. Correct. I think Embiid having this game against the reigning two time MVP, who he's come second to two times in a row, made that big step back three dagger at towards the end of the game. Those things people are going to remember that. And if the 76ers are a two or one seed at the end of the season and Denver are one seed and Philly and you remember that game against Denver where Joel Embiid outplayed Jokic, mm -hmm. you're like, why can't Embiid be the MVP? He's come second twice. He's outplayed Jokic head to head. He's got just as good of a team record. Mm -hmm. I think this is a big game that can determine that, in my opinion. Now, so well, that that's that's one of those signature moments. Do you think that played a role, too, in the fact that they now have the Sixers as the the power ranking number one big because of that yeah i think i, th I think those, those those big games because if he did this against no this if he did the, did this against charlotte like it's not going to move anyone no, no one really cares he right. does it against the best big in the league to most people against the team that's the number one team in the in the west that's that's why it's a big deal so i think those things do propel teams not just that i do think philly have just been hooping over the last month but hey, i think but they turn around and lost to orlando though they turned around and lost to Orlando as soon as they got well, the ring. Well, oh, take the, the, take the, take the, well, well, no. Hey, 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 Tom, there's a reason why they're at the bottom of the East. Knock it off. They're, Don't not, they're not that bad. There's, there's a reason why they're at the bottom they, of the they, East. They, 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 they suck, Tone. They suck, Tone. Come on, man. Come on, Tone. And knock it off. And, okay. and Mars, too, and, and Mars, my, 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 my pushback on what you just said was that game that, that Joel, not Joel and beat, I'm sorry, that game that Giannis outplayed James. Well, if you fast forward the clock, about a month later, they came out to Los Angeles and James outplayed him. Not only did James outplay him, Kuzma put the crown back on his head. So we got to go back to we got to go back to Denver. Philly got to go to Denver in March and see Joker again. So mm -hmm. in, in terms of propelling him as the MVP, this is not like this is the only time he sees him. He's seen him again. And add that to the fact that Denver is also yeah, yeah. Denver is also at the top of the Western Conference, too. So this is only halfway. This is only halfway where we are. This is only halfway where we are with this with this MVP logic. So I'm not sure that that Joel has completely propelled himself to the top of the MVP list. In, in, fa in oh, fairness, in, nuts, in, daddy just in, fairness, wow. in fairness, to in, uh, in, in fairness to Philly, though, let me let me go ahead and do sh show them a little love. All right. Because they came, they came to Sacramento without James Harden and without Joel Embiid. We did have them down 21, and we fell asleep on them, and they showed they showed some they showed some heart and came back mm -hmm. and kicked our ass. Right. So uh, let me let me show them a little love. Tyrese Maxey is a dog, and he was not playing with us. We I guess we thought it was sweet after we went up twenty one, and they put it on us. And uh, I got to show some love to that. I love Tyrese. Maxey. We're, we're not we're not to supposed to be talking about the Kings, but that's the, how many teams came in this week and kicked their ass? Didn't didn't uh, the Raptors come in and kick their ass too? 
Um, you know, you, you, know, so you know, you knew he was gonna say that, Bob. You I knew would, that. I would. If, I, they, if, they, if they, they deserve it. That, that. That. If, if Charlotte would have came in there, he wouldn't have said a word about that, <laughs> right? Said nothing, that, nope. that, that if is, Phoenix, if Phoenix would have came there, he wouldn't have said a word about that. But Toronto, of course, he's gonna bring that up. Of course, hey, Toronto. Bring that up. Toronto's a bad no matchup doubt. for us. I don't like. I don't like no playing Toronto. He's clearly gonna bring that up. So we we play we play Toronto, and I get a little shook. All right. Um, all right. I'm going to read out low. What's going on? Let me let me ask low here a couple. Get him get him caught up. So uh, the 76ers, here's here are the questions. One, what does Embiid need to do to earn your respect? And will we see them in the Eastern Conference Finals? Um, <clears throat> I already respect Embiid. What what can he do to earn like more of my respect? Sure. Um, yeah, he got to get deep into the postseason. It got to be a conference finals appearance. I mean that that's it. And can they make it? Yeah, they can make the conference finals. Uh if they finish with the second seed and Boston is a number one seed. Um, yeah, I think they can make it actually. I think they I think they can make it. I think Boston is probably their best, it'll be their toughest matchup. Stop lying, bro. You come on here lying already. Dub, do you and Dub have a beef low? Because he's been in the chat like the second you came on, uh low low legend of losing, texting. You know, dog. You know, you know, dog. You know, he get he get upset. He get upset when you start exposing him. So you know, rewind that 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 Milwaukee Philly matchup. Low. You don't like that for Milwaukee, considering Middleton is now back up. Bro, low sad. Middle Middleton back up at Mac back in the lineup, and and they starting to look really good now with with him back in the lineup. You don't like that match. You you like that matchup for Philly better than you do Milwaukee, considering what Giannis is doing, Grayson Allen, and. Getting Bobby Porter's back, you like that matchup better for Philadelphia than you do for Milwaukee? I like, I like, I like, yes, I like that one better than um, Boston. Boston? And the reason why you like that one better than Boston is because? Um, matchup wise, they just, they just match up. There's no real matchup for Tatum Brown um, at all. They don't really have wing defenders that can stay on the floor. So, they got the one kid. They got, they got the one kid. Oh, who's five? Yannis, no, no, not Matisse. Oh, 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 ticket, ticket. One more, time people, one more time for the people on the cheap seats. Ticket, Take say it again. No, no, Giannis I know, I know Shake Milton, but they got a, he, he kind of light skin. He, he a little, uh, little lighter skin to shake. Uh, no uh, arms. The Anthony Bob, Milton? Bob, 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 what is that? Listen, he's the only dude. The best player wins. The best player wins. That's is the only dude that can walk around here at 33, 12, and what, seven, six, or five or six to five assists. And, I, and everybody just act like he don't even exist. We talking about yoga and MB. Yeah, That's sad, ticket, bro. Ticket, That's you tough. read my mind. Ticket, you read my mind. Let me read, let me read something to you right now. 38.3, 12.8, 4.5, highlighted by a 50-point performance. That is the player of the week for the East, Giannis Antetokounmpo. So, is so he that's not back on track. Is so that's 30. Track? So that's 38, 13, and five. Yeah. That's 38, 13, and five. 13 and five, right, and bro. undefeated. And his team went undefeated that week. What's the, how, and where they in the East right now? What, how many games they back of? of which I think one a game, game and a half, something like that. Oh, no, one. They right up there. They're right up there. Oh, they tied with Philly right now. Yeah, I think they're half a game behind Philly. Yeah, they are, they, no, they are, so Milwaukee. Is, so Milwaukee low, is y'all are real. As of right now, Mil- they are half a game above Philadelphia. They are no, two and a half. No. So put some respect on the big freak, man. I cut this foolishness out, man. Y'all sad, um, man. The, arg- the argument about Milwaukee has nothing to do with Giannis. Well, well, he it, always has, has, it has it has it has something to do with Giannis, but it has way more to do with the with the um uh, with the help that they the lack of help that they have. Uh, I'm not sold on Middleton yet. Because he had four games of him playing like like fifteen minutes, like I'm I'm not right. I would have to I have to see more than that. The yeah. competition they face also isn't that great in that small sample size. I think they one of the better teams they beat was Denver, but that was without any of the starters on there, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. Mm-hmm. Joker didn't um, play in that game. Aaron Gordon didn't play neither. If I'm not mistaken, um, Aaron Gordon did play. That's not true. Yeah, Aaron Gordon did play. But uh, but I know Bobby Portis also is going to be out for the next two to three weeks as well. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what that bench is going to look like when he's not there. I mean, Phil. Will- he just got hurt though. If I'm not mistaken, then Bobby Porter just get hurt. But I'm still, I'm still winning. Yes. Yeah, they're they're beating uh, beating teams that I do not they're not good enough for me to gauge how good of a team they are in contrast to other teams. Uh, they just did not. Money so, ready to come play on that. 
again, but it had nothing to do. I just told you a whole bunch of other things that had nothing to do with Giannis. So I do. I think Giannis will play great. Uh, yes, I think he's he's going to play great. I also think, however, having a um a team with uh, PJ Tucker and Embiid on there will be a bit problematic for Giannis, especially since he's been struggling outside of like outside of like three to four feet from the rim. Outside of those, he he's struggling mightily this year. So shout out to Giannis, great player. That matchup isn't going to be that great for him because it's. But he's still, PJ Tucker. but he's still in second place. He's doing all this struggling, still in second place. Oh, 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 oh. And, that's and that's and that's fine. He, he's still he, second he, in the league. He, he's still second in the league in scoring. He's still like second he, in the league. And he, was, and, he, and he was those things in 2019, and he, and he still struggled against a team that just matched up properly against him. But but his, but with <laughs> see, 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 so hold on for a second, though, because I, I know that you're a numbers guy. So I'm watching Giannis a couple of nights ago when he goes for 50, right? And Giannis basically turned his brain off. I watched him stick a couple of mid-range jump shots. And I watched him stick a couple of mid-range jump shots because it was just catch, dribble, pop. It wasn't He wasn't thinking it. He wasn't doing anything like that. It was just dribble and pop. Same thing in transition. It was just go. He plays his best when he turns his brain off and he just acts off instinct. Now, when the mm-hmm. game slows that, now when the game slows down for him, and when the game slows down, he starts to think the game. That's where he gets himself in trouble because he starts to second guess, should I do this, should I do that, instead of continuing to rock the way he knows he can play. That's why his mid-range pops the way it does, when he just catches one dribble, shoot, because he ain't thinking about it. He just catch, droop, and shoot, because that's a rhythm shot. Same logic when he's in transition. If he's in transition and he just catches and goes, that's instinct, and he's not really thinking too much of the game as opposed to when the game slows down, he starts thinking the game a little bit more than he should, and he'll overthink it. Well, he should be, doing that, all se- he should be doing that all season long then because he's not doing it. <laughs> you're telling me just a few moments I, i'm not saying that he can't hit a mid-range jumper but this is a, like objectively this is one of his worst mid-range shooting seasons in the right. past few years that's not like that's not well, even a I'm, more. Not, I'm not i'm not debating more, and that's and that's and fine he... and in the play when the playoff starts right. he's not able to hit mid-range jumpers against a team that's featuring pj tucker and Embiid. i think yes he's going to struggle the same oh, way he had he had moments last year when he was going up I'm against not going to talk what you had the money ready to play how your money ready they play we going deep on well, it I'm so, I'm, 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 I'm so waiting for my steak dinner cuz you was wrong about it how your money ready oh hey, I, 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 I'm I'm so, I'm so, wait hey, I'm going to go steak dinner you can talk about money ticket you didn't you didn't you didn't right you didn't even pay your first debt ticket I was about to say hold on hold on let me say this let me say this let me say this all those guys do is drop me the location I'll pull up on them and 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 we'll go get a steak dinner and, I, okay. and, and and when I and when I see low, when I see him, it's gonna be like the when the Rock met Stone Cold Steve Austin, baby. It's gonna be classic. It's gonna be legendary. You understand what I'm saying? No, I just no. want everybody to understand that. So low, you drop me the location, I will pull up and Ooh. deliver on a dinner. But you, son, that shit you talking about, man. You very I mean, disrespectful to the best player in the world, man. I you all going, stuff, you I all stuff That's where I was going. Flaws, That's where I was going. All the flaws you say. The man is the greatest player in the game of basketball today. Is Giannis the best player in basketball right now? I just think Boston is a better team as well. I, I think I think objectively, I think we can all agree with that. Is Boston not a better team than Milwaukee? Is Boston that, that's not necessarily team? true. Well, I don't know about that, Low. And the reason uh, why I'm thinking that... Really healthy, man. Oh, he, fully healthy, he, almost, right? he almost beat... No, 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 but fluid. He almost beat them. Not at full strength. They, they should have closed out of six games. They let they the series go. They had, but they, but they didn't. Been. But no, they, they didn't. didn't. No, they almost did don't count. Boston no, is better no, than Milwaukee. Right 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 is Giannis the best player in basketball right now? Yes. Arguably. Well, Kevin, says, I mean, yes. Kevin, it, 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 Kevin it, it Durant was until he got hurt. It is arguably. It is arguably. 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 Bob, I don't. Hey, if you're hurt, you're out of my life. Bob, who's the best player in basketball right <laughs> oh, now? Wow. All right now, today. Um, yeah, I guess I guess Giannis here. Yeah. Low? How you saying Kevin Durant, though, Bob? I said, I said, yeah, I mean, you, 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 you see, before he got before, hurt, before, before he got no, no, hurt, no, 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 Bob, 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 with Giannis averaged damn near double rebounds, more assists, more blocks, more steals. He do, he, and he's done this for the last six years. He's dominant. He has beat Kevin, Kevin Durant in every statistical category and wins for the last six years, bro. That's some interesting more. stats. Hey, hey, hey. That. That's some interesting stats. I think, hey. I think, I think, I think, I think this year, if I'm not mistaken, I think, no, KD does have more blocks. I think the assists are the same. Scoring might slightly favor Giannis, but as a, just a more versatile, more efficient score, it favors KD as well. 
I think the rebounding for without a doubt is more. Oh, oh, okay, oh, even oh, when KD was playing, even when KD was playing, we had a rebound in that. We finally have an expert. Who's the best player in basketball right now? Who? Go home. He said Luca. He said Luca. He said Luca. He said Luca. Okay, I ain't mad. At, I ain't mad at him for that. I ain't mad. That's what Luca was doing. Hey, Luca been balling, man. I can't. Hey, I can't you know, lie, bro. You're not know, seeing you know, you know, score as well. Like, it's crazy. Hey, hey, Luka. Huh? Take it, my, my son, my son, my son. The training is not working. It's he'll, not. He'll, it's he'll, not, he'll come. He'll come here and say LeBron James. I have to kick him out. Oh back. hell no! But, hey, look, listen. I can be, man. I'll tell y'all something, man. LeBron is on. He, man, bro. He, 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 he balling, man. I, I ain't think I never did say I, that. I know they losing. Wait, like, somebody did I miss the ticket take from what LeBron? I, hey, I know they losing. I know they losing, bro. I ain't gonna lie though, man. <laughs> bro, who was LeBron? Look, look, look. If Fluid was right and LeBron is on something, he got to be, bro. There's no way that you playing like this at 38 years old, man. Yeah, hey, look, and, and hey, for everybody that's watching, everybody's on something. So watching, y'all think it's cool, y'all think it's cool, and that's easy. That is not normal what he's doing, bro. That is nowhere near normal what he's doing, bro. It's not. It's cool. not it's, it's no, human. it's not. It's not. It's not human, bro. Bro, man, the man, the, 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 the man is gonna go out there and get 40 tonight. We know this. It's not human, bro. Listen, it's not you, man. You know, it, it rem- so my, I don't know if you guys ever heard heard this story, but they interviewed Michael Jordan's dad, God rest his soul. And he said, I don't know what happened, but someone, one of the gods reached down and said, hey, this kid's going to play basketball. Because he said, because if he couldn't play basketball, he'd be working at a gas station somewhere. Um, this is next level. Like they made LeBron James a lifer. Like this dude looks like he's going to play till he's 50. It's crazy what he's doing. It is. It's crazy what he's doing. It's Absolutely. crazy, right? But hey, hey Fluent, if he does clear. this, no, like I didn't, I didn't get your answer though, Low. Did you say Giannis is the best or no? He's not. I think he's the best. I just don't think I they didn't. They didn't really Forget the team. Yeah, I'm just talking yeah, about him. Like, yeah, he, yeah, he, he can be the best though. It's fine. Right. Right. Yeah, y'all, 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 you keep saying he hey, can be the best. He's like giving it to like it's right. Right. No, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no, I think I think I think it's arguable. Is he the best? Who who is the best player on the planet, Low? I think it's arguable. Okay, we understand that it's arguable today. In, J- in January of 2023, who is the best player on the planet? Even though you're making an argument for other people, who is the best player on the planet? It's not this difficult, Low. Spit it you're out. Not, this yeah. isn't radio. It's Dead Kevin, air is not Kevin good. Durant. It's Kevin Durant. I, I, I'll say Giannis, but it is okay. it, it is difficult. You're taking you're taking Kevin difficult. Durant over Giannis right now. Yeah, I am. The same KD that swept in the first round. Right? Oh, Bob, Bob, what are you taking KD? Well, we're, we're talking about right now, though. We're not talking right. about. Yeah, right now. What, what, are, you, what are you taking KD over Giannis? What are you basing that on, Bob? Right now, I'm talking about just how easy it is, his efficiency, how he can get he can get anything you want. Now, He's always been able to do that, though, Bob. Always. Okay. Well, right, right. So, so, so in this, there's there, there's been time there's been times where I thought KD was the best was the best player on the planet before. Now, I thought he was before he got hurt, before he but, went to before he went to Golden State. There's KD. KD but, is at. Bro, I, I got KD. Bob, like how, I said, you, Bob, how you say that, Bob? Bob, how you say that when he don't play no? He he, he went known for really playing D and he went to go to state, and then well, he ain't really been playing. He played D a little bit after that, but Giannis is not even close. Like the two of those guys defensively is not close. Giannis is a way better rebounder. Giannis damn yes, average the same amount of Giannis, Giannis, Giannis is a better rebounder. Even though KD's Giannis is not a better scorer. Giannis he is a better scorer. Average one point. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, he's not. Got it. He's I'm, I'm, hearing, I'm, hearing lot, I'm hearing a lot of stats right now for someone who says, well, I use Hold on, 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 hold Yes or no? You're just using. The- I didn't hear. So, I can't. I can't, I can't. Wins and losses no, of stats. Wins and losses of stats. Hold on. Yeah, no, right, 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 right. So hold on. So his play no stats. are no stats. in effect okay. of them being second in the East. That's mm-hmm. over KD, over MB, mm-hmm. and under only Tatum and dudes. So cut it out, bro. And that's yeah, not even. Who you've done? Who you've done? Stats. That's it. You just. I'm gonna give you some more. I'm gonna give you some more stats. You ready for him? Here we go. Um, 42.3, 7.7 on 63.2% shooting was the Western Conference Player of the Year, Damian 
Lillard. Week, 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 week. Of the week, of the week. The week. That's what didn't I say week? You said, you said, said the year. Year. of the year. Oh, my bad. <laughs> of the week. Of the week. Yes. They were two and one, but he was 21 of 29. 32 years old. Is Dame back? Or was it just a good week? No. Well, he, back. he's all back. He's been back. Dame ain't gone nowhere. Dame ain't gone yeah, nowhere. Every, everyone knew he was hurt last year, and it wasn't a true indication of who he was. It's just that's what it's I said when I said to Mars. Like I said if you switch him and Steph Curry and put him with the Warriors. With this, the Dame Dollar you seeing now, with the with them Warriors teams, he done won a couple chips too. He just playing with Sorry. Teammates wasn't good enough. Keep it real. Curry is Curry is back though. Curry back. That's what really back. Curry in his bag. Curry, did Curry everybody, everybody. Curry, wasn't. Curry is in his bag. Bro. I mean, he was hot. Go, Golden State have looked better in the last few games as well. Here's, here's and, the and, and Clay is back too, boy. Clay back. Oof, boy, he here's the difference bag. though, Mars. The difference is that everybody oh, wasn't. Everybody wasn't saying because Dame was hurt. In fact. Everybody was saying because Dame was hurt that he's over. And I thought Dame would play himself back into the top 10 this year because Dame didn't have a history of injury. Even though he's 32 years old and he may be coming up on the other side of his prime, Dame still clearly had the goods. But because he got hurt last year, there were plenty of people because of what Ja was doing, right? Because of what um, Trey Young was doing. There were plenty of people who started talking about these guys and completely forgot about how good Damian Lillard was. And what Damian Lillard is doing is reminding people, I am still that dude. So, Ja Morant, Trey Young, you dudes, as good as you are, you still are going to have to wait your turn because I'm not going anywhere. But he only he top ten though. I don't think Dame is back in the top. D- has Dame not 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 top ten? It's I think so the talent in the league is crazy. the talent is crazy. What, what, I think there's, the like, there's, like, there's like fifteen yeah. top ten. Does guys anybody guys have Dame? Because Tatum, does, does Tatum, huh? Say it again. Anybody have Dame top ten? I don't, I, but Tatum like what's, like what's like a name like I do. But- What's his numbers? I'll, I'll, numbers I'll, again. I'll, numbers I'll, again. I'll, wow. Numbers I'll, I'll, again. I'll, I'll tell you the numbers. No, no, no. no. Like, hey, hey, Mars. Like, like, hey, Mars. 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 Oh, Mars. Gosh. Sir, sir. I'm well, saying I'm that because his, his, play, his play, hey, Mars, his play has an effect on when they win games. That's why I'm saying that. And he's 30, 30, 30 a game. But, he, but he's the 12th seed. But he's the 12th seed. Four, so four rebounds. Hold on, but Mars. But Mars, the dude no, that you come when, 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 when the Bucks are about Brooklyn, Mars, you don't care that KD's this time. The dude that you so come, why, why, he's a, he's a the dude you he's a come in here and get on your he's knees for for the 13th seed, seed, son. So shut up. He's a 12th seed. The dude you got on your knees for the 13th seed, sir. Who's that? That's LeBron Ramon James, sir. When's the last time I spoke about him? When I first came on this channel? So months ago. Oh, well done, mate. You were capital out. You were capital out. You were capital out. Record show. Oh, six months ago, I spoke about LeBron. Oh, congratulations. Like, but hey, hold on. But Mars, Tatum, Tatum, Tatum is better. Tatum is better. Mars, you have LeBron top ten right now. He's like bottom half of the top ten. Do you have LeBron top ten? Yes, bottom half of the top ten. They go hypocrisy right there. How you got to do top ten over another dude that has a better record? Ah, it's than crazy that you don't understand what's going on right now. You said Giannis is a higher seed than Philly, than Brooklyn, and that's why he's so great along with the numbers. Failing to mention the fact that KD has missed the last two, three weeks, and that's why his team is a lower seed because they were actually a top two seed before he went down. That was irrelevant to you. But now Damian Lillard, oh, his numbers impact his team winning games. What were KD's numbers doing? What were the Nets doing when he was playing? Am I wrong? Right. Oh, that's no, why. So you're the one being hip- oh, hypocritical. Hold on, on me. I'm using your logic. Oh, it's just dumb. Hold on, that's my it. Hold on, my son. Don't at me. Don't murder at me. Hold on, my son. I you did... said Giannis is better than KD. Hold on. Did you know? The last, hold on. The last 10 games, did Giannis not win mm-hmm. eight of the last 10 games against KD? Including... Oh, so now we're going, now we're going oh, back in time. Two, three seasons. No, 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 no. So no, right no, now, no, right no, now is irrelevant. It's two, three seasons. Okay. Sir, all I'm doing is going back for the history of those two. And not oh, only so that, it's not sir, right now. So it's not right now. It's not right now. Okay. Had more, Giannis had more injuries on his team, sir, too. It's not. It's so not. It's not KD's injury, not his team. KD. No, 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 no. I'm saying before KD Kevin got Durant hurt. Is hurt. Before KD got hurt, yes, they went up to okay. second place. But you can ask mm-hmm. Fluent. They were missing Chris Middleton. They were also missing uh, Joe Ingles. They were also missing uh, what's the other boy that was missing? Uh, Floyd that was in the starting lineup. Uh, Pat Connington, they were also mm-hmm. missing. They, they, them dudes was the, uh, the player on that team. How, 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 how many games? How many? How many they games? Did TJ Warren played? played. How many? How many games did TJ Warren played? TJ Warren has not Warren played like two thousand the last how, years, bro. Cut it out. Uh, so he's on. What team is he on? He's on KD's team. Yes or no? Uh, okay, Mars. Okay. How many games have Ben Simmons played? How many games has he missed? Oh, hey, hey, th- hey, look, that, hey, that's yeah. how he he's a walking yes no? abomination. Oh, but it's not his fault. Oh, crazy. Yeah, okay. 
Bill okay, Simmons is the only okay, dude. Yeah, Bill Simmons is mm-hmm. the only dude in the NBA that's on the court, and we don't think he yep. played. Okay, okay, okay. So, I'm gonna get real quick. Let me let me let me let me say something to the chat real quick. Uh, hey, chat. I want y'all to know, no Joe Ingles slander will be tolerated. I don't go for that. Also, your Dame isn't top ten. I'm looking at it if because especially if y'all think both. So who's who's the ten above him? If yeah. you have him, do you, do you think look. LeBron and AD are better than um Dame? I, I'm it's asking. A There's a difference between a better player and playing better. That's what this is. Well, that's what I'm asking. Mm-hmm. Playing, but be- who's playing the Tatum, best basketball right Tatum, now? Tatum, Davis, LeBron, Luca, Steph, uh, Jokic, Durant, Davis who? And B, huh? You said Anthony Davis. Yeah, Davis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and B, Giannis. Is that's that not Tatum? Right okay. you, right you say Tatum? Yeah, Tatum. Tatum's the mm-hmm. first name I said. Yeah. Oh. So I, I got I got Dame right outside the top ten. I don't have him that far outside the top mm-hmm. ten. I agree. I had him top ten last like, season, but that's why I didn't rank guys like Kawhi Leonard right. and stuff. Yeah, Kawhi, like, Kawhi is also. I thought Dame being back, Kawhi as well has to be in that conversation. Talk that talk, Mars. I, I, I also <laughs> thought Kawhi and, has and, been balling. I, I, I took I took him out my top ten because he didn't play the whole of last year. And hey, hey, Florence, you got to deal with that. You got to deal I, with that for Kawhi and, back. And I thought that he would play himself just like Dame. I thought mm-hmm. he would play himself back into the top ten this year too. But because he started the way he started this season, and because he was in and out of the lineup, and Clippers were in the Clippers, or in the words of Ticket, the strippers was doing this right here. I wasn't sold. But over the last couple of games, over the last month or so, Kawhi Leonard looks like he is super sharp. Super I don't need. Sharp. I don't need to deal nothing about Kawhi Bob because Kawhi <laughs> is going to do the same thing that I told y'all AD was going to do: get hurt again. Oh yeah, it's more than likely. So. They so, but if well, they here's, the, here's, here's the difference. Had the chance, but here's the difference though. Why playing well? They should trade him next week. But here's the difference though. Tick- <laughs> here's the difference though, Tone. The difference here is that the Clippers are doing as good a job as they can at managing him just to get him to the playoffs. And once we get into the playoffs, all right, we'll figure it out by then. And if he breaks down again into the playoffs, I'm out. I, why, why you gotta wait? I'm gonna you say, well, I'm not one. How many times has he gotta burn you? Fool me once, shame on you. He got hurt in 20. Whoa, 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 Tony. He got hurt in 21 in the playoffs. When did he get hurt before then? He He's missed the playoffs hurt. in 2018 because he, the he was hurt. There you go. He missed he the playoffs. He got hurt in the 2017 the... conference finals. And then he, got hurt in... he was playing her. Okay, now with that Thanks, being Martin. said, Mars, now rewind the clock, Mars. In 2017, what happened to him? That was a fluke. He stepped on somebody's ankles. Jaja put whatever mm. the is, Matrulia. That garbage. Matrulia. Right. So that, that, that doesn't work. So he had a knee issue where he didn't break down in the playoffs. He had a knee issue which caused problems. Now, in 2019, he was playing hurt, hence the term playing, not hurt, but playing. So he did play. Fast forward to 2020. He also played. 2021, he tore up his knee in the playoffs. So with that being said, the only time that this has actually happened where it, was, where it wasn't a fluke was in 2021. Other than that, he's ask, playing. Let me ask you a question. But that's because, that's because you're giving him credit for 2018. Let me ask you a, let me ask you a question, Jill. Let me ask you a question, Jill. How hard, many hard. times has Kawhi gotten hurt in the playoffs. How many times has he gotten hurt in the playoffs? He got yeah. hurt in 17, and he got in hurt in 21. 21. Okay. And then he couldn't participate in the playoffs in 2022 or 2018. Didn't he get hurt right. that year? Didn't he get hurt oh, the year so. to play Golden State too? So he was unavailable. He was, he, was, he was hurt, but he, he, oh, oh, he, he was unavailable, unavailable, to, his, unavailable to his team for four playoff runs. First of all, in the chat, I'm not mm-hmm. wishing injuries. I'm just telling you what history tells me. So four times. How many times did Chris Paul get hurt in the playoffs? Probably he broke his hand in the I think what was it, 16 he broke his hand or 15 when he broke his hand? No, 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 no. When they went to the finals, he broke his hand. That year, that year, right here, before they went to the finals. How many times did he get hurt? He hurt his hamstring. That's two. He hurt his hamstring with the, um, with the, what you call it, with the rocket. That's two. With the rocket. Yep. He also got hurt. He also got hurt that series he played against Kobe with the New Orleans um, Hornets. Oh, that series mm-hmm. they played Kobe uh, in the first round when he had David West. He got hurt that series. That's three. That he also got hurt one of those uh, years that he played with the, uh, the strippers in the playoffs. He got hurt and really wasn't the same for the rest of that series. He's been in the league a lot longer than Kawhi. And you say, Chris Paul, you can't trust him because he's always hurt in the playoffs. Well, Kawhi's been in the league half as long and he's hurt just as much. No, in, fluent. That's that's, that's, that's that's not, not the that's same not thing. Fair, not the same thing. Not the same thing. Look, in 18, in 18, 18, he was he wasn't playing because of what happened in seventeen. In twenty two, he wasn't playing because of. Oh, what only happened two in years because of injuries. Well, no, it's I, I, and then on top of that, so it was though he got hurt deep in the playoffs. So it's not like he just missed all the seventeen and all the twenty one. Especially in twenty one, he was carrying his team through that. And then I mean, y'all seen, seen that injury? He 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 banged Boyan. He took that funny step. His knee buckled. 
you know, he was he was definitely hurt. And he he would have. And on top of that, like for instance, like with, with KD, KD tried to come back when he shouldn't. He came back. Kawhi Kawhi don't do that when he's hurt. I'm just saying, if you're gonna if you're gonna hold one man accountable for not being available because of injuries, you have to do that for everybody. You do have to do that for everybody. What I do what I do is I just don't. It's not so much about holding people accountable for injuries. I don't blame people for getting hurt. Like I'm not we've I'm not blaming you. I'm not blaming you. But there's a trend where Kawhi tends to break down or he gets hurt, freak injury. That's the thing. He's not he's not really breaking down where he's just having just like oh like what happened to him. It's not like knick knack fouls or hurt or or nick tic tac fouls or just randomly just hurt himself. He's getting hurt. He's getting hurt in the heat of these heat of these games. It's not like it's just. Nothing's so happening. So, no, so, 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 so in 18, he ended up – so in 18, he hurt his knee, right? It so was, he didn't It was play. his quads. He hurt his quads. What, what, is it, what is it? It was his quad? I thought it was his yeah. knee. My fault. And then Tony Parker and, said he had an injury much worse and came back. Right. And, 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 that, and that's where the divide started to go with the San Antonio Spurs. And nobody right? cares so, what Tony Parker got it. Right, right. So, so that's what it was. Now in 17, it was a freak injury because if, if Jaja doesn't – if he doesn't step on Jaja's foot, he's just fine and he's rolling. Now in – again – now, when we get to 21, that was a non-contact injury, right? That was a non-contact injury. So he was fine in 20 when they was in the bubble. 21, he ends up getting hurt, and he ends up missing the entire 22 season because he got hurt in 21. So I don't think that those two things are the same thing, Tone, as opposed to Chris Paul playing longer and still getting hurt. I don't think those two things are the same thing. And Zaza stuck his foot under him. Yeah, he, he did that on purpose. We, 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 agree, we, agree, it's a, we agree it's a free I think injury, we all agree but, on that one. The point is, Kawhi, oh. since he's been at this Kawhi Leonard level, has been 27. This is like the sixth year. He's completed two playoff runs. That That's something that we have to talk about. Like, even just, if you I, believe I think, it's not like Kawhi's ignore, fault, I feel like we ignore that's fine, it for him. but it's relevant. Yeah, that, thank you, Mars. I feel like we ignore it for him because he's so good when he's healthy. And we and we don't do it for everybody else. That That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. He finished 2021 well, in the second round well, where they lost in 2019. That's well, can I can I ask Mars a question? Mm-hmm. No, of course. Yeah. Mars, I, I just want to ask you. I just want to ask you a quick question, man. Actually, I got mm-hmm. I got two quick questions. First one is is um uh, do uh, do you stand by what you said about uh, uh Jokic when you when you were saying that do you, do you think he's he's uh since you said that he he you think he's better than Kobe, do you feel, feel the same way about him and 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 Kawhi at this point too? Do you feel like he's a better basketball player than Kawhi Leonard uh, when healthy? Oh, yeah. And also, yes, I, yes, uh, yes. But you feel like he's better than Kawhi and Kobe? I think what I was said about Kobe was Jokic offensively is peaking higher than Kobe in my opinion. But I have to see the playoffs before I go full into that. But right, re- simply regular season, I think Jokic is peaking higher offensively than Kobe did. But as a player, no, oh. Kobe's better, but Jokic is peaking higher offensively, in my opinion. Okay, I see how your daddy's looking he's at be- you. He's kind of disappointed. And he's better, right? boy. Uh, but I want to say this to you, right? I, I have, now, I have is- one father. I have one. No, I, I agree. I agree. Jokic peaks higher than offensively than Kobe. I agree with him. You said what? I agree that Jokic he agrees with him. Jokic is higher. Hey, Fluid. Hey, Fluid. Hey, Fluid. Hey, Fluid. You see why? Hey, Fluid. You see why? Hey, Fluid. You see why I am how I am. You know and I know what's going on, right? You you and I know what's going on, Floyd. This is the foolishness they push, right? And this is where Mars gets it from. I'm not pushing it. You all I'm going to say, hold on. I'm going to say this, right? I'm going to say Mars. I'm going to say this. Mars, you, you, Mm -hmm. this is the last thing I want to say to you. I heard, because I know you and Dub like to disrespect the OGs. And like I said, Dub, you're very very disrespectful when we talk about Floyd, sir. You're very disrespectful when you talk about your elders, sir. And, And Mars, I'm going to say this to you and Dub, right? Mm-hmm. It's cool to go on y'all show open gym and push the narrative and talk all this smack that y'all talk, bro. But I- I'm just gonna say this to you right now, man. Bro, as a man, bro, you guys talk all that stuff about my boy Elder, man. You gotta go see him, bro. One day, when is open gym on? No, 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 I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about that. I'm talking about the one I respect about Chill Town. When I cook chill, when I go off for chill, you know what you know what chill does, Fluent? You know what chill did? He chill came over to me and saw me straight up on it. He came for the smoke. 
When okay. me and Chill oh, came to oh, him, and I first came oh, on here, so Chill came. We don't want to smoke. When, when, when me, hold on. When me and Low, when Low got into it, Low wanted to smoke. When me and Bobby got into it, Bobby wanted to smoke. This boy this, running from Elder, man. Stop. This, what, what OG boy. players did I disrespect? Because you said Ask I disrespect Elder. Ask Elder. You running from him. What right. OG we'll players let, did we'll I let him, We'll let them and Elder deal with it. We've got oh, some super yeah. chats, so here we go. Um, Jacob Williamson, after the Lakers-Celtics game, should there be repercussions for bad officiating? Big fan of the panel. Yes. Uh yeah, I can't believe that we were this deep in NBA history and there's not repercussions for it. Well, uh, but chill, you had a take about there are repercussions, kinda. Well, there are repercussions. The way that these, the way that the, the refs end up in the playoffs is they get on games like this. That's how they end up in the playoffs because they officiate games like the Celtics <clears throat> and the Lakers. They officiate the better games and they get rated on these games. And when they aren't, and when they miss calls like that. That translates into stuff like the playoffs, and they lose games. Not only do they lose games, they don't get put on games in the playoffs. And because they don't get put on games in the playoffs, they lose money because that's where the real money is. It's in the playoffs. They get big so, bonus money in the playoffs. Yeah, that, that's where the money is. The money is in the playoffs. So these guys are trying to get on crews in the playoffs, and this is where you make your – just like players, this is where they, they – the, they, the way they make their names, they make their names in the playoffs. Referees, they make their names in games like the Lakers and the Celtics in prime time to continuously make good calls so that the supervisor of officials, when he finally sees this and he says, all right, I think I can trust this guy in round one of the Western Conference uh, of the Western Conference playoffs, as opposed to watching what he watched. Now I got to watch more of him. And I got to watch more of him in the regular season to see how much more he's blowing. And now I may have to take him off of games. And I got to reconsider what I'm doing with him. So, yes, there are repercussions. These guys lose games. These guys aren't on cruise in the playoffs. And they end up losing money. No question about it. All right, next Super Chat. But before I do that, Super Chat, I want to quickly say, if we have time, Dub and Elder are in the chat. Mars, if you want me to let oh these guys God. go and bring the four of you on and we can pass. I can be your oh, media ticket. Take it. Don't do that, man. Don't do that, man. Uh, the, don't other do that. One, the other thing I want to say is in the chat, all of you that keep bashing and saying using the term old head, just remember, just remember. It's going to be you one day. It's going to be you. It's you don't, you unless you're dying tomorrow. What's, you what, day. what age is old head? You're, old old head is any stop, 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 let that, boy, let that boy, let that boy hey, outside. Bro. What was the answer? What, what age is old head? That's it. That's all. I don't need. I, I don't know if I'm there or not. I didn't even know what the age is. That's I, I, is, I, old, is old head an age or is it a mentality? I didn't start it's getting called mindset. Old mm -hmm. head is a mindset. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. No, it's not. Dub said it was. No, Dub said it was thirty. Dub said it was thirty. Thirty is thirty or not? Old head. 30? No way. 30 if you're, if you're, old head. No yes, way. Yes, no, you're an old head. Stop. I'm, 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 I'm thirty two. I guess I'm an old head. Bob is not an old head. No. I love. I love it when people say I'm an old head. That just means I know more than you do. Right. All right here right. we go. Next to the yeah, next yeah. Super, yeah. next super chat. Um, Devonte Wise, Nash and Rose, the only MVP winners to never play in the finals. Ticket. You really think Jokic will be the third? Yep, I think he's. I, I think he's a fraud. I think Mars is around for pushing. Him. I I don't think Jokic, what y'all say he is. I don't think he's going to the finals this year. I think they lose in the second round again. They get upset. I think they lose to a team like the Clippers. If they play the Clippers, they will lose to them this year. I think that. Clippers? I don't think that. I don't think that. I do not. I think Denver is a good regular season team, like the Mike D'Antoni teams. I don't trust Mike Malone when it comes to the playoffs. When it comes to the big series, I don't trust that team, bro. I like some of the players they have, some of the role players, like uh, uh, Dudu Brown, uh, and and a couple of those other role players they got. But as far as I don't trust Mike Malone as a coach, and I don't trust Jokic in the biggest moments. He'll put up good numbers, bro, but they will not overcome, bro. I, they, they're to me, they're the same as the Memphis Grizzlies, bro. They're they're teasers, bro. And those te and a team they run into a team like the Golden State Warriors. I think Golden State will still beat Denver in a seven game series, even no, with the way they are this year. 
Golden, Golden State. I'm Golden State. Golden State. No, I'm saying no. I'm saying I'm saying I still think I still think it's teams like that. I think a healthy Pelicans can beat them in a seven game oh, series. No. I think the Lakers can beat the Denver Nuggets Lakers, in a seven game series. Uh, hey, 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 you got hey, you got to convince me of that. Ticket. I'm with you. No, 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 I talk too. about one game, but, but think about this. The Lakers been playing all these games close. They, they ain't out here just get ran out every night. They just got to close the deal. And with all the injuries and not having consistent lineups, that take a toll on you during the season. But when you get in that seven-game series, it changes. I think the Lakers can beat Memphis. I think the Lakers can beat Denver. I don't see Denver. The only team I think Denver can beat is the lower-level teams in the playoffs, like like securely in the playoffs. When they If they ever get into a dogfight, they go lose. Now, Low, the I want the Lakers you, to beat the Nuggets. Now, 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 low, I'm look, now low, I'm looking at this Clipper team, and you know how I feel about the Clippers. I feel the same way about about Brooklyn. However, we're talk. However, we're talking about let's say a healthy Clippers team. I want to just discuss just coaching. How do you feel about Ty Lue <clears throat> and Malone coaching? I think Ty Lue can out coach him. That's fine, but they don't have they don't have the personnel to defend. Um, what you call it at all? Actually, they don't have the Ooh, personnel to defend Joker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Yoke, Yorkage okay. or or um Murray's coming along. Neither one okay, of them. So, really. so Murray is coming along, right? So again, we're, we're, we're barring any health issues, right? We're barring any health issues. And Paul George as a perimeter player, not only Paul George as a perimeter player, those guys speeding up the game, right? And getting Kawhi Leonard more involved in the offense, speeding up the game and his rotations where he can get good minutes out of John Wall. Do you think? Do you think that that team has an opportunity? John Wall? Oh my God! You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised to, be, to beat him. Denver or to win I'm, it all. I'm, 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 not no, talking about I'm, not talk, game, I'm, I'm not talking about winning the whole thing. I'm talking about just against Denver, and I'm talking about from a coaching aspect. Him against Talu against Malone, right? I think that he has an opportunity to out. I think he can out coach Malone because again, them. it can't it, it can't just be player to player, right? Because we don't have anybody one on one to match Joker. No. The Euro is not going to match – Zubak is not going to match Joker in terms of his production. That's not going to happen. So how are we going to how are we going to be able to cancel out – how are we going to be able to cancel out Joker's production? Well, the way we're going to be able to cancel that – the way we're going to be able to cancel that out is, number one, we're going to have to speed the game up. And when we get into a – and when we get into a half court, what we're also going to have to do is we're going to have to get a lot of action that involves Joker. We got to make him defend. That's where coaching comes in. So with that, that be- but they but they don't have the personnel though. And so the reason why Warriors is a terrible matchup is because they have the personnel. They have Curry, they have Poole, they have guards who are smaller, quicker guards who are versatile offensively enough that makes Jokic stay honest in every aspect and more right. than likely he can't keep up. Right. If you have John Wall, Jokic is just going under screens, oh. playing drop. He's not like and, right. and 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 maybe if I've seen more from Kawhi over the past couple of years handling a pick and roll and handling an offense, I would be able, I would agree with you. But unfortunately, I just haven't. And so the only pl- only other player I've seen is Paul George in that right. 2020 or 2021 postseason run. Right. And so that's and so that's that's fine. Um, I just still think that there's other problems with the the um the Clippers. Also, the Clippers are a slower paced team. I understand you're saying speed up the pace, but since Ty Lue has been there, they've been one of the slower paced teams. They, they're a half court team. And I think that's and I think that that's largely due to what that's largely due to what they had. Now Leonard getting healthy, I think that going, I think that's going to be able to speed them up. And well, not only is it going to be able to speed them up, when I think about Powell, when I think about Powell in in terms of drop coverage, like you talked about, Powell can knock down jump shots, right? Not only can Powell knock down jump shots, that second unit, I think that they match Denver's second unit. I don't think that mm-hmm. that second unit that Denver has is that much better than the Clippers' second unit. So when I'm talking about health. And I'm talking about what Joker does. If we put Joker in position and we put Joker in spots where we make him guard, where Zubak is one of the best pick and dive guys in the game, where if Joker is diving to the basket and 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 Paul George is coming off cracking in the mid range, that's putting Joker in a really that's putting Joker in a really difficult spot where he has to defend, especially when Paul George is not only cracking in the mid range, where he's attacking the basket and making Joker defend at the rim. Fair. Well, what are we talking about? They running small ball lineups though, and we're are we can move on fluent after this. But we talking about small yep. ball lineups they're running. You talking about the Clippers small yeah. ball lineup? Yeah. I think it's a, I think it's a combination of both. Even if they got the even if they have Zubak in there, 
I think it's a combination of the two. I think that they can still do that. Because I'm about to say, when you keep right. Zubak out on there, no, I think that he'll be fine defen defensively. Okay. Small ball line is where he has to go out to the three point line. Yes, it's going to be a problem. But then also defensively, you again, you're going small. We so, we've right. talked we've talked way too much about the San the San Diego uh, paper clips. All right, next one. Uh, how do y'all feel about OKC rookie J Dub? And what do you think the next 10 years looks like for the Thunder? Okay, I, I, so I like um, Jalen Williams. They call him J Dub because they have two on the team. Right. Um, that's, I like, that's the, that's I like, the big fella from Arkansas, though? No, no the, other one, the one from Santa Clara. Okay. okay. Um, I, 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 when I was watching him before the draft, I, I liked him <clears> when he was doing that Santa Clara. He, he reminds me, it's like, I don't want to say like Josh Giddy because he's more score oriented, but the way he slows down the game and the way he's. He's very methodical in the way he attacks. So I, he reminds me of like Josh Giddy and Shea, just worse at both their best aspects. So I think I think he can be a good good rotation piece for them. Their future, for me, their future depends entirely on Chet. Whatever Chet becomes, whatever he looks like next mm. season, and how he develops, I think he's gonna be him and him and um, Shea are gonna be the building blocks for that franchise going forward. If Chet doesn't work out, I think they're gonna end up trading a lot of what they have and just going for another rebuild because Shea's not going to commit long term to a project if they, he doesn't see an upside. So I think yeah. Chet is Chet is the foundation to this whole thing in my opinion. I agree. I, I agree with Mark. I, I don't think Chet's a fraud. I don't think Chet is going I don't think he's going to translate. I think he's going to be a boy like Adam Morrison. Uh, just watching him get hurt the way he got hurt in that summer league game against LeBron, man. I just don't see how I do that skinny. It, it, I mean, bro, I, I, I can't see it, man. I can't see him taking the NBA punishment for 82 games. I, I can't even see him lasting uh, beyond his first – I can't see him lasting beyond two contracts in the NBA. I don't, man. I don't think that he – I don't. I think that he, he will get exposed, and I think that the, the OKC Thunder will never be able to duplicate what they had with uh, KD and, and Russ ever again. I, I, like I said, like you said, I agree with you. I think that uh, Shea's going to want out after, after the next year or so, and I just think that the other young time they got, they just okay. they'll have to try to move on. <laughs> I don't see. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't got. I don't got Shay either. I'm. I'm, I'm not I'm, sold I'm on home, Chet at all. I'm home, Shay. Uh, Chet. Yeah. I, you know how I feel about those skinny dudes. They rarely pan out. I think he's uh, a more skilled. I think he's a more skilled version of Sean Bradley. That's what I think he is. It's. <laughs> it's about damn time. That's a crazy Golden, comp. Golden State Warriors was cheeks before Clay, and step. And step, Steph, Steph, and, Steph, Steph, and Steph. Draymond got there. There are they are the Golden State Warriors systems. Not because of, not because of Draymond, because of Steph. And Clay. <laughs> let's let's, let's move this. Let's oh, move. Like, we're not, <laughs> someone did. <laughs> It has, it, it has nothing. I mean, don't get me wrong. Draymond, it, has, Draymond, it has nothing to do with Draymond. You don't talk about Draymond, okay, Draymond well, see, Green see, is my new LeBron. See, low, low, I was, I was, I was, try, I was trying to show, I was trying to show him some love. Hey, low, low, I was trying to show him some love, but since you won't let me, I'm just going to say what I to say. No, Dray, any, anybody, anybody that's willing to play a little defense. Could fill in right there. A little and bit of Draymond. defense. Yeah, yeah. So a little bit of defense. Bob, the deep, the defensive no, player no, of the no, year. No, 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 a little bit. Yes, yeah, a little bit. No, that's, that's not. That's really not what I said. Oh. Don't take. Don't take my words and twist them around. I didn't say that. I didn't. I didn't say that Draymond only played a little bit of defense. I said that if you're willing to play a little bit of defense, then you can fill in for Draymond. Now, you. I'm not saying that you have to be as good of a defender as he is, but. If you're willing to play defense, rebound, and do the intangible things, then yes, you can have that position. Malik so Rose would have been a better, defense, a better Draymond Green. A so, you say Draymond's defense, so you say Draymond's defense, are you suggesting it, it was overrated to the, the overall success of the team? Yes. Well, well, because, it's, it's well because, because, because when, it first, when, it, when, it, when it all when it all first started, it wasn't like it was just Draymond. They had Andre Iguodala and Harrison Barnes Thank playing. You. And, and Clay you. Thompson playing amazing defense as well. Last year, last year in the playoffs, specifically in the finals, like I've stated before, Wiggins. it wasn't Draymond. Draymond, Draymond wasn't doing it. It was Andrew Wiggins. Thank you. Finally, somebody. Andrew, 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 I, Andrew, I, Andrew I, said, I, I said, I said, I said that on the Players' Choice a couple a couple months ago. If it wasn't if, you, Andrew, Andrew, Andrew Wiggins, Andrew Wiggins showed everybody why they don't really need Draymond. Draymond is expendable. I don't even know why he's still there. Hey, hey, oh, hey, Bob, Bob, tell the truth, so, tell the truth to the whole world right now, Bob. If Draymond Green was overseas, how many games would he last? Shit, I don't. I don't really see Dray Look, Draymond just fell into a beautiful position. I don't see Draymond. Draymond really being Green able to play. Cut in one week overseas. One week yeah, he'll be cut. His ass home quick. Home. And listen, we y'all get mad at us because we tell the truth. 
We're not lying to y'all, man. That dude is a product of Steph and Clay and Katie's greatness, bro. If he ain't playing with the two greatest not, shooters to ever play basketball, offense, though. Okay, tell offense, me. Though. Please, please. Come on, come on. I told y'all months ago if you put a prime Paul Mills out there, y'all laughed at me. But if you ask Bobby, he knows I ain't lying. If you put a prime ball Paul Mills out in Draymond's place, they still win those chips. N name a few more ticket. You can put Malik Rose right there. DeJuan Blair right there. Oh, you know, you know, you know who'll be DeJuan better right there. Is Boris, is, you said DeJuan Boris, Blair. Boris. I ain't going that far. Hold hey, on. Boris Diaw. If Boris Diaw would have been there, right, would OG, OG, would be, you put OG, OG and Anobi in there. First of all, though, Boris, Boris Diaw was about three times better than Draymond. As a hey, defender? As a as a basketball player. As a basketball you know, player. Defensively, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Boris Diaw defensive. play D. Doors, Boris no, Diaw play he's D. a better defender than, than him. Well, let me let me let me go back to my, my original statement, Lo. I'm not saying that you have to be a all world. Are you near? Is he near his, the his defender? His point. Bob's point is that enough. Bob's point close is enough. that you didn't yeah. need a defender as good as Draymond for them to be successful. If you put in another good defender in his place, who was a better overall basketball player, they'd still win. Yo, look, my little, I, and my, I think, my, I think, my, if, I think that's just my, my little brother tore, tore his ACL a couple years ago. I'll put him in there instead of Draymond, and they'll be balling, bro. Right. We see it. Hey, look, that Bobby. Oh, they don't see Bobby. Bobby. Hey, Bob, Bob. They think we hating because because they think we hating because bars and them don't be on the court to know basketball like we talk about. But dudes who play ball, we see Draymond. We know what we talking about, man. That dude ain't what they say he is, bro. He ain't, bro. He been overhyped. He been overblown. He ain't that great on oh, man-to-man -man defense. He's a, he's a good team defender. He's not a good man-to-man -man defender, bro. He's undersized. He's too small to guard the real uh, good big man. I, and I, NBA, I, don't bro. Seeing, I, I don't see. I don't even see what everybody sees. I, I don't see. Thank you. I, I I don't yo, see. Been, Bobby, I love you right now, brother. I, I, I know. <laughs> I, them dudes been getting on me all this time. I've been saying this, bro. Everybody talking about I'm a hater, bro. Bro, we see this. But uh, Fluent, you said OG on the beat. put a prime OG on that team, bro. They do the same things. They do the same things because, like you said, it was the other guys around him. It was the A's that won the finals MVP at first because of his defense. It wasn't Draymond guard LeBron. It was Iggy that got on LeBron when LeBron was shooting 30, 30% in the games Iggy was guarding him. It was Andrew Wiggins last year in the playoffs, uh, in the finals that stepped up. It was d up those wings, uh, mostly full time. Not Draymond. That's the truth. If that's the case, why the hell they fell off so bad defensively this year? You know why? And you can't tell me just because of Gary Payton II. You can't tell me just because yeah, of Otto, if Otto that, if, but, if, but if that's Otto the case, then, then where's Wiggins' input to the defense then? If y'all said it's Wiggins. Wiggins. No, I'm saying, no, I'm, Wiggins? I'm saying, I'm saying it's a combination of that and Mike, and, Mike, and Mike Brown. Mike Brown, the defensive uh, uh, tenacity as a coach that he bought there for all those years, that was underestimated too. Mike Brown been there for years doing work behind the scenes that he ain't never get credit for again. And me, Mark and me Jackson, and Mars, we talked about that. Mark right Jackson played the yeah. Mark Jackson made it grow, and, and all Steve Kerr did was come, all he did was come and say something, and everybody want to praise him. Man, get out of here, man. So, Wiggins, but Wiggins, Wiggins been hurt though, right, Lo? I just, I just want to be clear. Yeah, Wiggins, Wiggins, Wiggins been hurt a lot of years. In, in, in 2016, when Mike Brown wasn't there, and they were still one of the best defensive teams in the league. Iggy. Andre, Andre Godala was the younger. Iggy. Are you laughing like you didn't watch? He was younger. Yeah, absolutely was younger. Andre Godala, in, in, I'm not. I'm Andre not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. But I think I think that it's very hypocritical, and I think it's also very idiotic that when somebody says something along the lines of "y'all think that we're disrespecting older players," but somebody who can finish top two or three in, in DPOY, one Defensive Player of the Year, has been one of the most consistent inputs to one of the in, in some of the teams. One of one of the better defensive units in the past seven years. Y'all are claiming that you can just get somebody. Units. One of the best you, defensive units. Again, again, yeah, again, again. He's score. been he's Pretty been the sure. he's been the only consistent factor throughout that entire time. And so to oh, sit yeah. there and to say that it's always someone else, I think is very laughable. When well, he's he's the only he's the only, he's the only he's one the, that's been there this whole time, look. Okay, so okay, so that that proves my point. That's the point. If 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 we if we lose Iggy, if we lose Iggy, if Clay gets hurt, if if before Wiggins was there, if yeah, when Clay got hurt, and what what happened for those what happened for those couple years, look? The defense was going on. The defense was elite. They wasn't doing shit. The defense was but the defense was still. In 2021, they were still a top five defense. Don't save him, Don't save him, Florence. 
In 2021, the, did you just say the Warriors defense was elite? In, 20, in 2021, yes, the they were still a top five defense. defense. They were still a top five defense without Clay. And Draymond, people were saying he's going to win deep way, but then he got hurt. He was still, he was still, still a top five. Hey, yo, he got y'all fooled, yeah. though. Because because Draymond, so hey, yo, I don't know what you paid. I don't know what you paid. We're going to save this one for another day. All right, so Joju Tejada. Uh, oh, Jesus de ha- Oh, Jesus uh, Jose, de Hada. Jose Tahada. Tori, Jose Tahada. Uh, I, uh, Tori, Tori, I got no Spanish people in Canada. What you doing? Brother, uh. I lived in Arizona. I picked up <laughs> All I know is no habla español. Uh, Curry, okay. <laughs> I call I call my good friend uh, Josie Tulidu. Jose no, Tulidu. that's not his Josie name. Josie Tulidu. Uh, <laughs> Curry, Curry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jose, by the way, because he might be watching. He's going to give me shit for that. Uh, Curry will get you more tired uh, running and going through screens than Joker bodying you in the post. Kobe was in shape. Shaq wasn't in shape. He was just a big. That goes back to tougher to guard. The, That's true. The, hey, hold on. That's true because if Shaq was in shape, Shaq, Shaq and Kobe would have been more dominant. And that's that's a fact. If if Shaq was really in shape, because Shaq wasn't in shape, bro. All the years he played in LA, he was not in shape, bro. He was just big and dunking on everybody. If Shaq yeah. was really in shape, uh, uh fluent or chill, yeah. if he was uh-huh. really in shape, Kobe like and Shaq would have been un- like listen, listen, hold on. They would have been unbeatable. You can ask fluent. They probably would have won seven, seven or maybe eight championships, and that whole time they could have stayed together had Shaq would have really been in shape. Because remember, Kobe was getting better. He was elevating. So if Shaq would have still been in shape those years where Kobe was elevating, wasn't nobody going to be. All them finals that came up next, wasn't nobody beating them, man. And that's just fact. Because remember, Kobe went back to three on his own with, with Powell. So you don't think that if Shaq was in shape those years, he'd have went back and won all those? Yes, he would have. So that's, I'm, that's I'm, like I'm, this. I'm, 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 I'm standing on the logic, and I've always stood on the logic. The Los Angeles Lakers went to the NBA Finals four times in five years. That's six trips, and t- that's eight trips in ten years winning six. Now, if Kobe Bryant takes the reins and Shaq takes a back seat to him, that's what it looks like. That's exactly what it looks like if they end up doing it. And we having a completely different conversation. But the idea that because Shaq wasn't in shape, he was just big, he still was wearing down the big guys. He oh, still was doing that. that. Hey, hold on, chill. We're not saying that. We're saying even when Kobe before he died, God bless his soul, he told Shaq, he said, bro, if you were in shape, we could have really ran. And the tape ran back, and he was right. Bro, listen, listen, listen. This is what this what you got it wrong. But hold on, fluent. I mean, chill. This one you got it wrong. Kobe would not have minded kept playing with Shaq like that had Shaq been in shape. But Kobe seen that Shaq wasn't committed like that. So Kobe said, "You know what? I'm in here putting in all the work. I'm doing all. I'm finna take the reins and get the credit because they're giving him the credit." He's coming through midway in the season. He ain't even in shape on training camp. I'm ready to roll. The fans don't see this. So by the time we get to the finals, Phil Jackson's talking about direct entry to Shaq. No, I'm the one been carrying the team the whole season. I'm going to get the credit. Y'all not going to keep giving them credit for finals MVP. And it goes to prove to you because Shaq, he didn't have none of the discrepancies Kobe had his career like in Colorado. But Shaq only got one MVP. That's insane. He has no excuse to have the same amount of MVPs as Kobe Bryant. Shaq should have had more MVPs. He should have led the league in rebounding more. He should have led the league in blocks more. He should have had, he should have had more uh, uh, NBA championships. Shaq left a lot on the table, bro. And like Elder said, and he told you this, and he was everybody said Elder was cap, but Elder was right. Shaq ruined his legacy because he couldn't see how great Kobe was. And that, in, t- in turn, would have won Shaq three or four more championships and put his legacy beyond guys like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who guys like Mars call a fraud. All right. Um, thank you. Uh, the super chat from Mr. Tejada. I'm not going to butcher your first name. Uh, Ka- you guys are killing me. Kamu Williams, have you heard about the ref Eric Lewis wife? Took a family photo all in Celtics gear, and the Celtics are 36-2. and two. When refed by him since 2020, made questionable calls in that Man, Celtics. We, 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 we could, we could, hey, just so you know, Mr. Williams, we could do that with a bunch of guys, right? So Scott Foster, I think, I, I don't think that Chris Paul has been in a game with Scott Foster that he's won. I think he's over with Scott Foster referee in his games, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Joey, not Joey Crawford, uh, Joey Dan Chuck- Crawford. Dan, I, I think Dan Crawford, one of the officials, I think that when, when he was refing, I think Dirk Nowitzki has a, has a sub, not sub 500 record. I think he, I think his record is ridiculous when Dan Crawford refs his game. So we could do this with a bunch of other refs. It ain't just, 
It's it's not just this right here. It's a bunch well, of other guys. The question is too. though, is it weird that his whole team has Celtics jerseys? Are clearly Celtics fans, and the Celtics are that big of a discrepancy? Thirty six and two with questionable calls. That's no, conspiracy. that's just that's just that's cool. A, that, that's a conspiracy. Oh, Tim Donnie theory. told you. Y'all didn't listen to Tim Donnie. Tim Donnie told y'all no, what was up. We, we heard y'all. We heard him. We heard him. Oh, yeah. These refs are the same as us. As they're human beings and they fans at the end of the day. Like, you've ref the game before, Chill and uh, Chil Fluent. You guys have probably ref games before just bull jabbing around. And guess what? You might like a guy on one team. You might hate a guy on another team. So you might favor and get these guys more calls than another guy because you just don't like them. Or you just may favor that team. The refs are like that, bro. They try to make you impartial, but we're human beings, bro. So, yeah, like I said, hard. I it's agree hard, with Tim Donovan right. because there's no reason why that foul on LeBron James should have been called. If the league wants to get past LeBron James, they're done with him. That's why they're not getting the calls. The refs in them, they don't rock with him no more. They want him out so they can promote the new guys. So, what they're trying to do is just continue to make him irrelevant. But the fact that he gets so many votes, you can't do it like that yet. It's about damn time. Y'all act like you can plug anybody on the Warriors next to Steph and Clay, and they win. That's not true. If you put P.J. Tucker in Draymond's place on that team, ain't no way they win in rings. He didn't say P.J. Tucker. He didn't say P.J. Tucker. But hold on. He killed himself because that means that right. Steph Curry is great as y'all say he is then. That means Steph Curry ain't as great. Y'all say Steph Curry top 10. That's what they be saying. That means if he can't do what Bobby said, and pin somebody in Draymond's spot that can play solid defense and not mess up and move the ball to the two greatest shooters ever played the game. That means Steph Curry ain't as great as y'all y'all say he is. That means his winning depends on somebody else, which means he ain't as great as y'all say he is because somebody else winning should should depend on his greatness. Ah, that shit is there. hilarious. Please, PJ no Tucker is there. Do they win a chip? Oh my fucking god, yeah. this is hilarious. Yeah, they they went they went with PJ. They, they, they went with PJ too. On top of that, on top oh of that, God. I'm I'm only I'm mostly hilarious. only talking about the the first and last ring too, because those middle two rings they didn't need they didn't even need Dray, they, they didn't, didn't need nobody feeling for, for Draymond. AD, they, didn't even, right? yeah, they didn't even need Draymond. Draymond could have went home. Oh boy, that shit is hilarious. Y'all are hilarious, boy. So you, you think you think you know these are facts, Low? Laughing at it ain't gonna make it not true. Let me ask him, Lo. You think without Draymond, the team with Steph, Clay, and KD can't win? Oh no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the idea that somebody's um. Winning is contingent on somebody else's with some playing on somebody else. Come on, come it's on, not, it's not. 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 I'm saying hey, the only reason why I'm saying, want to trip, the only I'm reason why AD want to trip is because you're playing LeBron. I'm saying criticizing. I'm saying criticizing somebody for doing that. When there's several players in the top 10, top 15, top 20 that that's still a, that's applicable to. So it doesn't mean that Curry's not a top 10 player because the same thing that's applicable to Magic Johnson. Now, all of a sudden, he's not a top 10 player. That's dumb. No, we saying that them other guys, their greatness was elevated because of him. They're trying to say that Steph Curry and Klay Thompson were elevated because of Draymond Green. No, when you're the greatest, you elevate the other guys and bring them with you, like LeBron James and AD. AD doesn't win no championship unless he goes and plays with LeBron. How the soul win no championship unless he goes and plays with Kobe? It okay. happens like that. But, to, but hey, with that, with that being said, Lord, that's that's really not no knock to Draymond, too. Let me just get that out the way, too. Because because you got you still have to be a professional basketball player. And I'm not I am not saying like, oh, Draymond, sorry, even though I don't I don't think he's as good as most people do. He still he's still stuck stuck into that role. He, he, he played a lesser role. He, he he does what he's supposed to do on the court. So I'm not knocking Draymond. I'm just letting people know that Draymond is not who y'all think he is. That's all. Well, I'm who, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me, here's a better question. Who do you think that we think Draymond is? How about you tell us who he is, Lo? How about that? I've heard, I've, I've, I'm not, I've heard I'm not the one who's making these assessments, though. He's the one who's making these assessments. I don't think he is. They, they, I've, 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 I've heard y'all say a lot of things. combination of, like, Scottie Pippen and Dennis Rodman. Oh, hey, think, take the Hall of Famer, but you don't got a Hall Dennis, of Fame game. I think I think Dennis Rodman is, is a better defender than him. I don't think. I don't think they call him a Hall of Famer fluent, but he don't got a Hall of Fame game. There's people in this chat who have said Draymond Green is a top three defender all time and no, a top facilitator. No way. Mar Marzo, no you, do you way. think that Draymond's a top three def defender? No, I just get I just get put in these. Brackets yeah, no. with people for some reason, and also and also we because you're a Warriors fan, you get you you have to defend all of them. It's also, it's also, it's also, it's also, it's um, also, labels. That's literally, weird. like a week or two ago, we both refuted that he's not even a top five defender ever. So I, I'm not no one's or ten. 
Or you can make the argument. Or we both said that. We both, we said, both that. said that as well. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. Like when Bob, when Bobby's saying these things, I'm like, I don't like. It's not applicable to us. So I, if y'all talking to somebody else, I guess. But but he asked you, what is Draymond in? What makes what, him? What, 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 what do you? What do you? Think, how think, do you I evaluate Draymond? Draymond? Think, Who is Draymond? I think, I think Draymond is an elite level defender. I think he's been, at worst, second or third best defender in the past basically decade, uh, in the NBA. I think that he's um. Mm, let me say above. Let me say, bo- a good to great um, passer and playmaker, and I think that for what for what like this, what that team needs and what this era of basketball is, yes, I think defensively he is he's he's great. Lo, I got one question. Right. For and, you. And, and, and I think and I think and I think he's a Hall of Famer. Yes. Lo, will he make any all defensive teams playing in that era with KG and all the guys? That's all I want to know. Uh, probably not because they didn't value that back then. Unfortunately, value what? Mean, what? No. the Hall of Fame as like, as like, as like doing. Switch That's ability, what I'm doing. That's what I'm like, ability, about, uh, They didn't because they because Sean Marion was never anywhere near close to winning, and he was just as switchable as a lot of other players. They just didn't value it back then. They didn't value didn't, switching. Didn't value what? So they, so they, they, so, they, so they you're valued like, so, they valued it, but they didn't value it as much as what we value in today's league. No. Right, because the game is different today. Okay, that's and what I said. Was, I said well, the last ten years. Right. So the, so the game is different today, which means that Draymond would have Draymond would at his position he would have to defend more in the post. And because okay. he would have to, and he would have to defend more in the post, and because he would have to defend more in the post, he wouldn't be nearly as viable as he is today. He begin his ass cook. Okay. Cook. Lo, Lo said he wouldn't be on these all defenses. Bro, what? Hey, 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 we're not talking no, no, about no, 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 same. Okay, that's fair. Good. That's that's fair. That's fair. Devonte Wise. Bubble bass. Bubble bass. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. Um, okay. Nathaniel. That's, that's, my that's my nickname. Oh, oh okay. okay. All right. What up? Uh, watch out for Orlando next year. They're the next. Ma- they're the next. No, they're not. They are not the next Memphis because Cole Anthony is not as good as Ja. That's number one. I mean, they got a they got a really good front court. I'm not going to fight that. They got a really good front court. But defensively, they aren't close to Memphis. Don't and forget the uh, don't forget the 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 draft though, chill. They might be talking yeah, about they, 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 they might have potential school. defensively is scary. They do have they potential, school, here's, but here's, here's the difference. The difference is that Memphis is still get, Memphis is still here, so they you won't be. The you don't like that backcourt of uh, Fultz and uh, no, Suggs? I thought you were about to say the other backcourt. No, Fultz no, Fultz is good. He's just not number one pick. Good. He's just no. a solid Mm-mm. solid player. That's it. Okay. Uh, so, okay. No one thinks they're the next Memphis. Uh, I don't. Sorry, sorry Nathaniel. Uh, L Dog 661. Can the mods or one of the panelists get chat on order with all the weirdos trying to fat shake? I mean, shame. I, I'm fat low. Shake. It's whack and low key bad for the brand, in my yeah, opinion. It's bad, man. Hey, y'all, stop doing that, man. Real talk. It's corny. Yeah, it's corny. It is corny. Cut it out. I mean, we, 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 yeah, this stop is doing it slow because then I'll have to write that weird thing is. Good. Thank you, L Dog. Pre- we appreciate that. Um, Nunu, Capalot, will this decade be the Giannis decade? It could be. No, it because Mars and them plays frauds like at Jokic. Who ain't nah, done nothing. Uh-uh. It, it it could be it could it could very well be because I think I think Giannis is twenty eight so I think he got another I think he got another six years at this level right I think it could be his I definitely believe that this could be his decade no doubt about it he's in the middle he's in the middle of his prime he's on the other side of it and not the not not, no, the, but not fraud, the weak side of it the strong side won. if fraud has won two two MVPs already in this in this decade. They, they, hey, don't get mad at me. These this clowns called the Kareem Kadoor, the, the clown who argues, the clown who argues with fluent called Kareem Abdul Jabal a fraud. So don't look at me twisted when I call no, this bum who haven't done a damn thing, all, but except for collect MVP awards, oh, never been to the finals. Me. When I call him a fraud, I don't want to hear no smoke. Because they, so they, they call one of the greatest players in NBA history a fraud, and ain't nobody say nothing. 
No, yes, they are. Hold on, hold on. Everyone disagree with you. I got after my. I got after that. No one agreed with that opinion. No one person We had an extensive conversation. Even Mars disagreed. I got after your ass on that. Drink more. I was on that. I was on that. I was on that show, and we we made sure to let let Dub know about himself. No, I got on his ass about that. No, no one has. What about vice versa, low? How does Embiid match up against the Bucks? Lopez and Giannis defending the paint along with Holiday digging down. Um, I think it's it's definitely favorable. Again, again it just depends on the lineups in which they're uh, matching up with. I would still probably take MB matching up with um MB matching up with um, um Lopez. Lopez. Yeah, I would probably take that. Um the other problem though, once more, is like again, what are they getting in terms of the, the value of uh scoring and floor spacing for Middleton? If it's mid, then it's gonna be problematic for them offensively my yeah my, my concerns really isn't with um the bucks defense that's that's offense. never going to be my problem it's going to be their offense all right uh bob having kd over braun in 2013 is nasty work yeah that, that was what that was that was wild to me but i was caught up in, I, was, <laughs> I was caught up in the moment you know hey, it happens yo right, it fair, happens. Enough, fair enough it happens uh low you missed, so you did miss this part. So this is just for low. We're not going to get back into the debate. Low, who do you have as a better defender, Timmy D, or Kobe? Tim Duncan. What are we doing? Incorrect answer. Um, <laughs> Van Giovanni, DJ Khaled, the best. What do you guys think about Darvin Ham? Uh, let's start with our Laker no. fans. Ticket and low. Please stop. Great Good Kobe. hire. Bad hire. Undecided. No, what is your what, 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 wait, wait, Lo, what is your issue with Darvin Ham? He's he's in a situation that's almost he's in he's in a situation right now that this unit is built around Anthony Davis, who has been beat up, Russell Westbrook, who they aren't letting him. He had to he convinced Russell Westbrook to take a to take a, a rotation role, which he's thrived in. I'm not sure how many coaches would have been able to convince Russ to do that. Nobody. Not only that. I'm not, I'm not sure how many other coaches would have convinced Russ to do that. Anthony Davis, who has been in and out of the lineup, and he's one of the main reasons why they would be good if he was in the lineup, he's almost in an impossible situation. What is your issue with Darvin Ham? Yeah, please, pr- please, Lo, explain how a coach is supposed to get a team to a winning record with no talent, with no superstars, with no one who's been there before. Please explain. Um, that was sarcasm, by the way. For I him. know. I know. Did, did, is that if, was, would you say the same thing about Frank Vogel in last year? No, because Frank Vogel on the team. Frank Vogel had the team looking worse. They weren't even competitive. The, all these games you watching, for the most part, are competitive and going down to the wire. The Lakers have had 10, 11 games this year that have went down to overtime or down to the last possessions. They just didn't close the deal. The star players, LeBron and AD, didn't close the deal, or one of them wasn't in the game when the other one was in the game and didn't close the deal. So Darvin Ham has had the team way more competitive on a game-to-game basis. He did something no other coach could do, which is get Russ to buy in somewhat to what he was trying to do. And also, it's kind of funny how y'all get on Darvin Ham when y'all sit up here and complain about roster construction. Y'all say the Lakers roster is flawed. So if the Lakers roster is flawed, how the hell can you be mad at the coach for not being able to do something with a flawed roster, but he's done as much as he can do? He had Because I tell you one thing, if Frank Vogel was the coach, this team would have 11 or 12 wins right now. So well, that right there, that right there is defense there. with Frank Vogel. That was they a problem. Be, they, but that, that, so that's, that's the – what he just said right there is why – I mean, the same thing you just said about – um, Darvin Ham this year, Frank Vogel dealt with those exact same problems last year. They dealt with injuries. LeBron actually played fewer games last year than what he's probably going to play this year. Um, so to expect him to be a competitive coach doesn't make any sense. But in particular to Darvin Ham, where his rotations are still off. We're still running way too many guard, um, guard heavy rotations, even after getting Rui. There's times where he doesn't play winning in, he does play winning in, or he just put he completely out of the lineup. He went from playing Westbrook and not – he didn't play Westbrook in the entire fourth quarter, then decides to throw him in to the Wolves in overtime against a Boston Celtics team. He did that's, do that. That's, that's, did that's do that. just terrible things Look, that he, he does. Do that. he did well, do that. Lo, you got to understand that one thing. From, Lo, you got to understand one thing from coach perspective. And this is what everybody has to understand. When you coach your guys like LeBron and all-time grace like that, bro, those are the hardest jobs to ever have. Because you're coaching not only egos, not only what you want to do, but what they want to do, dealing with this type of stuff. And just being behind the scenes and seeing guys who are great players with great egos like that is is difficult and different to coach guys in a team like that. So on a next night basis, Darvin Ham may say, look, this might be what I want to do. We get in the game situation. It's hard to tell LeBron James no. 
if you have something fixing your mind that I want to do, like maybe I want to sit LeBron this time, and LeBron's like, nah, coach, I'm good. Let me keep going. It's hard to say, nah, dog, come over here and sit down. That's LeBron James. He can already make, break the all-time scoring record. You know what I'm saying? Russell Westbrook is a Hall of Fame. Regardless of what you think, he's a lock Hall of Famer. It's hard for a coach to look at Russ sometimes and say, man, it's hard, bro. When you're a Hall of Famer, bro, it's hard to do players like that, bro. It's hard. And what I want to also – what I also want to – well, I also want to bring up, low is the fact that he's a first-year coach too. So it's not like he's been doing this for four or five years with the Lakers. Now, this is his first year with this unit and the way it's constructed. Why so, do they have a first-year coach? That's what I'm saying. What are we talking about? What the what are we everything Why that Ticket just said? Everything Ticket just said is applicable to Frank Vogel last year. It's the that's same not, thing. Frank Vogel but no, it's not. Well, 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 Coach, based off of things that Darvingham also has to deal with, they're coach. both. So, what do you think Frank Vogel is? I, no, I said this. I'm, I'm asking you Dar now for clarification. No, what is no, it? No, I'm saying Darvingham has been able to do things that Frank Vogel wasn't able to do. He what lost is Frank team. Vogel. No, listen, listen, listen. He lost the air of the team. Frank Vogel was never going to get Russ to buy in and come off the bench. That team would explode it. Had Frank Vogel would have forced Russ because. He already was putting Russell on the bench at the end of the game. That that was ready to explode last year. If he would have came out this year and told Russ, I want you to go to the bench, that would have exploded. It would have never worked, and the Lakers would have been down into a bad, a worse situation than they are now. Darwin Ham has been a lot better. The Lakers have been – and listen, once again, you don't get credit for losing. But the point is, is that they have been way more competitive this year than they were last year. That's facts, bro. They, bro, they have been right. in all, is, all, what is all Frank Vogel? Guys. What is he? Is he a good coach? Why or are we, hold on, no. Why are we criticizing LeBron James and AD for not closing? Bro, what is, what, is, what, is Frank, what is Frank Vogel? Is he a good coach or a bad coach? I think he's I'm, a great coach. He's, he's listen, coach. listen, listen. Oh, no, no. He's a good coach. I think he's but a really good I'm going to tell you something. Right. And I don't want to get racial here, but I'm going to be honest. And Fluent might understand this. Chill might understand this. <laughs> Russell Westbrook was not fit to listen to a non-black man in that situation. He wasn't. Only a brother that's, was going to be able that's to Russ, that's, And that's Only Russell's brother, problem. Right, right, right. That's a, tell me, that's a big piece because of how Russell thinks. That's a big piece, bro. Mm -hmm. it's go, it took a strong brother like Darvin Ham who knew how to approach Russ. That's his prima donna shit. I'm gonna get real with you. I'm gonna get real with you. Oh, oh boy, yes, he won the chip. But guess what? He didn't know how to approach Russ to get Russ's ear. He wasn't trying to hit that. He thinking, I want a chip. You're gonna come here and listen to me. He didn't know. Darvin Ham, he's a strong willed brother. He knew, okay, this is how I have to approach Russ. Because guess what? He still a Hall of Famer. He still is a great player. So let me approach him in that way. And that way, I'll have his ear because he knows when everybody's criticizing him, I'm praising him and still putting respect on his name because I'm going to have to get him to buy into what I want to do. He did more than anybody else. Bro, if, if Frank Vogel would have still been there, yes, he's a great coach. It would have blown up. Russell Westbrook would have acted a fool. It went crazy. That it made him make some bad trade to get the dude off the team. Or they just sent him home. The Lakers would have been shortly underhanded, and you would have had 10 wins, and everybody would have been complaining. I guarantee you that. We can't leave out the fact that Frank Vogel was also out on Russ when he got there. And if I remember correctly, it was in the beginning of, it was in the beginning of the season when Frank Vogel asks Russ, when the ball comes off the backboard, get it to the if, if it comes off the backboard, go with it. And Russ was like, No, get me the basketball. I think that Frank Vogel was out on Russ. I don't think that he ever really wanted Russ. I don't really I don't I don't think that he ever wanted Russ on his unit. So I think this is a little bit different with Darvin Ham because I think that he had an he had an opportunity to talk to Russ from a player's perspective and talk to him and let him know how he can, if coming off the bench, how much better he would be for the unit how much better this would be for him. Because we're talking about the same Russell Westbrook who, the way he was playing, it wasn't looking good at all. At all, it wasn't looking good. All right, we got to get through some I'll, more. We got to get through some more. Uh, I, if I was low, I don't want the steak dinner. I want whatever Bobby was eating. Boy was licking that sauce off his fingers. Uh, what were you eating? What, you were eating something? Bobby, you didn't yeah, share? I, What's I up, had bro? a little fruit. I had a little fruit ball. It was, it Come was on, fun. man. Whole time, I was, whole time I was pretending like it was Genie Bus. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. Sean Nine Six. Uh, to be thinking he cooking, he be chatting. 
Um, why you never we, pull we, up one of those, think we get one of those every episode. Uh, Mars, Mars is frying poop. Why you? Fry, uh, I wouldn't do that. That could probably get stinky, Mars. Uh, Leaf Diggy, he got something to say. Flu, hey, that's me. Being ungrateful at Kawhi gave the six a top ten playoff run. I'm a Lakers fan. I don't care what he did for the six. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> if that isn't the biggest crop right there. Stop lying, Tom. I'm not a Lakers fan. So that don't mean that you wasn't loving every minute of that playoff run that they had in Toronto going on. Knock it oh, off. Of course, the party. Okay. Were Tyson Tom <laughs> Thomas, I I love Kawhi for that. We I don't know what you're talking about. If you all value Ja, is he top ten? If, if you value winning, if, if you value is winning, top oops, is Ja top ten? No, no, he ain't won that. What are you talking about? He's he's talking about this nothing. year. He's talking about this year. He's talking about this year. He ain't won nothing. Well, the only he's reason why this year. What 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 no, 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 no. But what if he won? What if he won? Job with, top with 10 this regular year. season. What's about this year, right now, this I'm regular not, season? Job out here acting no, like I'm a not. thug, beating up on teenagers, telling Shannon Sharp, telling Shannon Sharp, yeah, I'm going to let you breathe. Told another dude, say, yeah, I had to check his temperature, but he ain't had no fever. Man, get these clowns out of here, man. Shannon Sharp <laughs> should have shut the hell up and sat down. Um, Devontae Wise, Joker had two breakout seasons. And MFs lost a damn mind. How you break? What is that? Did he win? Did he win? Did he, he win? Talk, he, he, he talking about us. He talking about he's us. He's, he's on, on your side. He's, 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 he's on your side. He's on your side. He's, he's, on your side. Side. <laughs> he's saying That's Joker right, only right. had two breakout seasons, and you guys acting like he's he's the second coming. Um, I I disagree with that, but I guess I mean maybe maybe for you he had two breakout seasons, but. <laughs> He been, he been is, doing this. Is, this has been coming for like four years. At this point. I was about to say, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, it's like his fourth or fifth year, basically being 20 and 10, averaging seven assists. Like I don't know, like I don't know, what the, I don't know what's that good? Tell you about. 20 and 10, averaging seven assists, 20, 10 and seven. Man. You you could see the trajectory of Jokic coming from a mile away. Yeah, if he's right. just paying four, attention. Yeah, there right, you yeah. go. That's you, dog. Drink more water. Okay, well, players in the world. There's more Ooh, throat. Throat. When evaluating the best players in the world, what is more important, actual skill and ability on the court or the overall impact on the whole game? Impact on the game. Impact on the game. Bob? Uh, same thing. Impact on the whole game. Chill? Facts. Ticket? Uh, it ticket agrees. Everybody agrees. All right. So no debate there. Um... Mr. Ali, TNT, TNT showed a punch, I think a bunch. Uh, yes, a bunch. That's what it says. A four. I don't have my glasses. I was about to say. I was about to say. Fool, it did say, say that. Bunch. Tom, where are your glasses at, Tom? Stop yeah, acting upstairs. like you're 25. I'm not wearing you them. Can't see, people wear glasses. Oh on. man, he's in denial. Uh, old heads. Old heads. Old heads. Old heads. You think I wear mine? I wear mine because I can't see. Oh, TNT showed a bunch of forty-point games in January alone. Um, I think it's in reference to scoring's way easier today. Do we agree or disagree? Yeah, offense. Yeah, they don't play, play no defense. Of course. That's why, and, that, and, that, and that's the reason why we chop down f- l- f- uh, low and Mars when they praise Raymond. He's in a weak era defensively. Y'all giving him credit for being in one of the weakest eras in the NBA history of NBA basketball, and that's why we telling y'all he overrated. This is a weak era he played in. He really don't have no competition right. defensively. Wouldn't it be opposite? Huh? If it's more no, no, it would, no, no, it would, no, no, it would no, no, be opposite. I'm it saying, be opposite. no, 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 you're not hearing me. No, it's not opposite. Listen, no, yeah, he's in a no one's playing defense. defense. If one plays a little bit, we think he's really good, and he's not right. right. If it's if it's exactly. if, it, if they if they strip rules away from you to play defense and you're still an adequate defender, doesn't that mean that you're a great defender? What, they what, remove hand on, checking, you can't stay in the lane as long as you want to, like you did back in the day. And you all, and they make rules easier for offensive players to score, they can carry, they can do all. Wouldn't that mean that? What I mean, it? I have one no, question. No, it wasn't, it wasn't Does great one on one or team defender? I just had that question. That's all. I just want to ask I think, you. I think, hey, look, I think, hey, look, can you said it again, Lo. I really, I, I, I didn't really better. catch what you were saying. Could you, well, could you say answer, it again? The answer ticket, I, I think he's a better team defender. And the answer, Bobby. Okay, okay so, t- so that they, means his, his success is predicated off somebody else then. Because you don't think that he's well, everybody's everybody's yeah, success yeah. is predicated Bo- on It's a team sport, it's guys. A team guess, sport. Guess, guess, guess it's a team that. sport. No, I'm not saying that. No, I'm not saying that. But he's saying that he thought Tim Duncan was a better individual defender than Kobe, right? That's what he said, right? So, but when I asked him, do he think that Draymond see, Green was a well? Listen, listen, listen to what I'm saying. Listen, what I'm saying is, I'm saying this because we never known Draymond Green to defensively stop nobody one on one. 
He's guarded dudes okay. for possession. We've never known you to put him on somebody and be locked down. Uh, Floor, what did Bruce Bone, what was he known for his career? Getting on dudes and giving them hell. What was Ruben Patterson known for? Getting on dudes and giving them hell. Not switching around. Instead. I'm talking about able to get on you, Tony Allen. The list goes on. Kevin Garnett, Ben Wallace, Tim Duncan, Hakeem Olajuwon. All these dudes can get on a dude and give you hell defensively. Draymond is a mix and match type of dude. He ain't no dude. Because like, like Bobby said, if you put him on any good big man, he's fouling out. He, he's not He's not relevant. So to answer, we're going to get there's more quick. Draymond super chat, so we'll get to more. So just let me because let me. Oh go no, I, okay. I think Bobby what? had me another question over. Okay. Oh, sorry, you had another question, Bobby. No, nah, I just I just didn't hear what Lo was saying. I, I was saying I if really... if they if they if they remove rule if they if they put in place rules to make it harder for the players to play defense. Correct? You would you would mm -hmm. assume that you would see they take away hand checking. You can't stay in the lane as long as you want to. They took away. Um, they made it to where like ball handlers can just basically carry as much as they want to. Mm -hmm. Screen moving screens are just like all yeah, over the place. Third now. step. Yeah, yeah. Give people third step. So if it's if it's more difficult to defend players in today's game because of the rules that they change. The players who play defense in today's game, that means that they would have to go against more variables than they were in prior eras, correct? And I, I think that might be a big reason why uh, some of these cats just decide I'm not even going to try. I'm not playing. No, defense, I get that, so but I'm talking about the players who actually well, yeah, do yeah, so I'm, I'm a very yeah. – I, I agree with yeah. you. I, I do, I I'm do think, that it, is, through, I think, I think it is harder these, to play defense. I don't mean to cut off the conversation, but we do have – we have a hard yeah. stop today because we have another show starting – uh, yeah, in, right. in 30 minutes, so shout out uh, if Curry wins. If Curry wins the finals this year or ever again, will he be top 10 all time? Mark, into that. Um, he Steph's like two, three years away from being in my top 10, whether he wins or not, he's just two or three years away, in my opinion. We could have, okay. a, conversation. We, we could have a conversation, we have that conversation, yeah, yeah, we could have that conversation. Is he better than LeBron if he wins another one? No. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Flo, some you, some people wait. would try to say that. Some yeah. Flo, 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 that. for you, would he be top hey, 10? Hey, Flo, that's a good question. Yeah, he is. Because he guess what? what? He would have he, he would have achieved he would have he would have he would have achieved more with LeBron James and more so, than LeBron James in LeBron's no, career. No fucking way. So let me let me let no me ask, let me I'll answer no, I'll answer your question. So you know that I with one exception, um, I typically do not have active players in my top whatevers because yeah. it's just i want to yeah, wait for their careers cool. to be done but i do projections and so actually yeah steph is projecting to be in the top 10 yeah no he said if he does win again no no if he, no the question is if he does win again oh okay no 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 doesn't win again no yeah who's your number no, 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 doesn't yeah that's what i said no jerry west okay no, no, that, I'm saying, no, no, I'm saying, I thought he was agreeing with you, that Mars. Propaganda. You oh. that, that, that household <laughs> propaganda is crazy over here. That is a crazy propaganda. Hey, 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 Lo, what, what he said about LeBron makes a lot of sense, though, because, look, LeBron's supposed to be the greatest player of this generation, but he's lost six NBA finals. Steph Curry, and he's had a lot of help, MVP help. He's had a lot of uh, dudes, MVP level help, I should say. He's had a lot of great all-time great players on his team. Steph Curry, the only big all-time great player shift they had was KD. If he comes out and wins more rings than LeBron James, and that, in that same error, I mean, bro, that conversation. I mean, I, I, okay, oh, you go ahead, Tyler. Just think. Oh, oh, go, 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 go. We're out of time. We're out of time. We're out of time. So let's go. Dre had Joker locked in the fourth quarter last year. Uh, that's from Deco. Um, he had 31 and like 13 in that series. Shut up. Well, there's and, your answer. And he got jumped. He was by himself. Right. It wasn't like it was one-on-one. -on -one. Dees move. It wasn't one-on-one -on -one with Iguodala and LeBron. Dang Dame, <laughs> Draymond, sorry, Draymond does stuff that doesn't show up in the stat sheet offensively and defensively. What That's are right. we talking that about? Is, that is a fact. Me and Lou are the stat guys, though, so it shouldn't be so, so, does, so, does Robert Ory, so does Robert Ory, but Mars don't, and, and, and Lowe don't think he's a Hall of Famer. What you saying? Is nowhere near close Robert, to the same know, impact. Uh, Robert has a better all-time defensive rating than Draymond Green. Robert Ory guarded better post defender <laughs> oh uh, players than Draymond Green. Oh my Robert God! Robert Ory guarded the greatest post player in history. He's spit right history. now. Y'all got to stop. 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 Y'all got Robert Orr is always a geek piece on every team he went to. Oh, every all-time legendary coach, 
see him as a key piece on all those teams. No, 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 wait, no uh, one's no saying, one, no one's saying, saying right. Robert Ori wasn't a great role player. No but you, not saying that you should not no, be I'm using defensive about, rating. You don't understand what I mean. Right. So Robert Ori has Robert, a better yeah, role than defensive no rating. Robert, you don't know what that means. You don't know what that means. If you knew what defensive rating meant, you wouldn't be using it. I'm going to say this to you, Low. Low, he guarded greater post players. One on one, then what Draymond Green did too. What what what's the rating? Mean? Ticket, no, ticket. No, ticket. What is the defensive rating? Let's drop. Mean? Let's drop. Let's drop the poll and move on. Drop. Drop the poll. Yeah, ticket. Ticket. What is defensive the rating? Mean? Dropping the poll because we all have Robert Ory over Draymond Green, but this is an important one. Hall of Fame Mike, the smartest person in the chat, uh, and I'll show you why here in a second. Um, with a super chat, the super chat of the day. Oh, all the stats out dude. the window. What makes Jokic better than Embiid? Joel is faster, stronger, a better scorer, a better defender. Although Joker is a better passer, he has some of the best spacing in the league. Not saying he's not great, but Embiid is also a great passer. <laughs> hey, y'all just be wasting money to just say crazy stuff, bro. He's thanks, not a better, thanks for the he's, not, he's not a great passer, A. Hey. Uh, he, even when Jokic didn't Mike have, one hundred percent accurate. Even 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 last year when he didn't have great space and he was still an excellent passer last year. And on top of that, right like this season, um, Jokic is having arguably the best um post up season we've seen in, in years. Now Embiid is up there with him, but no, you can even argue this year he's a better um post up player, faster, stronger. I, I can agree, better score, maybe because of volume. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, but. No, there's there are things in which um Jokic Hall of Fame matter. Mike, you are correct. Embiid clears Jokic because you're the smartest guy I know. Love the show, fluid the goat, and I'm a Mars hater. <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all keep pushing. All right, thanks, Hall of Fame Mike. <laughs> KB Jeez. knows balls. Uh ball. Excuse me. Sorry, KB. Whoa, uh, he only knows one, not two. Pause. 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 <laughs> pause. Yeah, please pause. <laughs> when Draymond was guarding. Jalen Brown, the finals, he shot a sub 40 plus. When Draymond was starting Jalen Brown in the finals, he shot sub 40%. Excuse me. Please stop lying about Dre. He also had Le- held LeBron to less field goal percentage in the 15 finals. Which is also yeah, true. They're both. Is that, is that all true? Fact. They're both facts. Yeah, he, he only guarded him for like, what, 5 8% of the time? I'm that talking about Jalen Brown. I'm pretty sure. No, no, I'm no, pretty no, sure. I'm saying, no, 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 Dre, no, no, no. Dre, I'm I'm not, not, Wiggins was guarding Wiggins was guarding the majority of the series. Yeah, Wiggins, Wiggins was guarding Jason Tatum. He was guarding no, Tatum. No, I'm saying, listen, listen, no, I'm saying that's what I'm saying. I'm saying it was Wiggins, uh uh what Gary Payton's son, and what you call it, it was rotating and, and, and cleaning up that was giving the most minutes to Jalen Brown. What are you talking about? That's not true. Draymond Green most of the game one. Off the game one, Draymond Green was Jalen Brown's primary defender. That's okay, actually, okay, that's okay. Actually, that's Draymond Green was Jalen Brown's that's primary that's defender that. from game two onwards. Uh, just, hey, no, problem, no problem, bro. No problem. Just, just watch, watch, just watch Russell with your eyes. I don't, know, I, don't, I don't know the stats. I just watched the game. Conch. Yeah, you know. Watch, you'll see it. Conch wants to know. Hey, that question for Lowe right there, uh, Flo. Yeah, Ask Lowe that question. I am, I am asking Lowe this one. Why is defensive rating a bad argument? What does because it mean? Larry Bird got a better defensive rating no, than Scottie Pippen. It's, that's it's why. not. It's not just Larry that. Bird's a better you're, defender than Scottie Pippen. That's <laughs> why it's a bad defense. If you're using, if you're using defense, if you're using defensive rating, first of all, we have to understand that the errors they play in the yes. offensive ratings are much higher today. So yeah. everyone is going to have a lower defensive rating today than, for example, someone in the mid two thousands would have. Which makes sense. They don't play defense today. So if you're just gonna extrapolate it and do raw comparisons. Yeah, everyone is going to have a better defensive years, rating football. back then than they did today. Because the worst offense in the league today would be the highest offensive rating in the league in like 2000. That's how different the game is. Oh, but Giannis is the the way the way the defense is the 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 I'm asking a question. Why is it yeah. impossible that it's because the defense was significantly better then than now, and that's the reason why today's because, worst because That's even, why you use relative ratings. But 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 to answer fluent, but to answer fluent, but to answer fluent, even if Hypothetically speaking, they shot the same percentage, took the same amount of shots at the same pace. They would still score more more points in today's league. The offense would be higher because it's just three point shooting alone. So three point shooting alone is going to increase the the offensive rating in today's game. So that's why you will use relative. The a, State B, go ahead. I'm sorry, Lo. B B. The another reason why is when you defensive rating is heavily based off of offensive and defensive rating from individual standpoints is heavily based off of a who you're playing against and also b who you're on the floor with. So obviously you can have players who have high defensive or lower defensive ratings or better defensive ratings, but that's all dependent on who they're on the floor with. Curry has years. So I got one question, rating. 
I'm not, I'm, I'm almost done. This is what I smart. Curry has years where his defensive rating is better than like Clay Thompson. And if I'm not mistaken, even Wade was, was Robert Horry a, a, a very good defender? Your ass low. I think I think Robert Horry was a, was a good defender, but to say that he was a better defender than Draymond. What, what about uh, hold on? What about you, Chill Down Influent? Do y'all think that Robert Horry was a very good defender in the NBA? A very good post defender. I think he, I think he was a damn good defender. Yeah, he, no one knows. What about you, Chill Influent? Uh, Robert, yeah, Robert, Robert Ory, I think the only reason he was in the league was because he was a good defender. Just, just, for, so, just, for, just for context, the Houston Rockets have the worst offense in the NBA by a mile this year. Their offensive rating is 109.7. In 2001, the Milwaukee Bucks had the best offense in the NBA. Their offensive rating was 108.8. The worst offense today is better than the best offense 20 years ago. That's why no, you can't just no, when you say you can't use defensive, defensive rating. rating. I'm just gonna, I'm again, I'm just asking the question. I haven't yeah. deep dived enough into it to, to say, I'm asking. So, when I look at the all time leaders in defensive rating, I see names like Tim Duncan, David Robinson, Ben Wallace, um, Elvin Hayes, Hakeem Olajuwon. Those guys are all great defenders. So, it's yeah, not to say it's not to say that they're not great defenders, but part of the reason why Tim Duncan and Dave Robinson's defensive rating is so low has a lot to do with their impact as an individual. But what would what would be deemed a great defensive player at that time was always going to be lower because they played in a slower pace era, they played in a scoring more defensive down. oriented era. The yeah, scoring, scoring was down is all around. Sure, that's like Gar- so how many? So how Gar-Gur many? How many? Is the number one defensive rating all time is that why? Who? Gar oh, is the number one defensive rating all time. I don't, I don't know. But, but, <laughs> but, but, long just story short, research, back, homie, don't just come here throwing out stats and stuff. But, but, look at the end up, of the day, low, the, look the, it up, low. I'm gonna look it up. But the reason why, though, is because if you're in an era where there's a slow, lower scoring because for, yeah, okay. for several reasons, then yeah, your, your defensive rating is going to be lower anyway. All right. Um, I'm gonna try and get through these faster. Sorry. Uh, which positions? Top ten is the best. I say center. That's from Sway. Six, 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 center easily. Center easily. Six, yeah, six of my top ten guys. I don't know if it's easy. I like shooting guards too. I like I like the shooting guard top ten as well. Sure. Oh really? I, I think mean, I, I I'm going to disagree. I'm going to say I'm going to say it's probably center, but only because for the first sixty years of the NBA, that was the focal point. Um, I actually oh, think Tone, why are you talking about the first 60 years forward. like the league been around for 275 years? That's like 80% of the time. That's, that's my point, though, is the league's been around for 75 years, and for the first 60, it was get it into the big man. Right. But when I look at where are the like most skillful players, most versatile, whatever, I think it's small forwards. And I think if you give it another 15, 10 years, I think that top 10 will be better than the centers. Yeah, we might be having a different stand. conversation. But as yeah, of today, six, six of my top yeah, 10 guys are five. Today, I said center. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, kid, 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 arcane. arcane. Uh, <laughs> it's okay, Lo. I was raised in two different households in the same house. It's a Twitter. It's a Twitter joke. It's a Twitter. It's a Twitter joke. joke? Okay, yeah. uh, you get it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Is it funny? Uh, in my opinion. All right, cool, kid. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for the super chat. Then, if it wasn't funny, then no. All right, Deshaun nine one six again hits us up. If Clay wasn't that good of a shooter in his prime, the KD to Warriors wouldn't be a big deal. It would be Curry v Kyrie and KD v LeBron. I, don't I know think he's suggesting that the the X factor was Clay. No, no. <laughs> no I, what I mean, no. what what he said is, I don't think Clay is necessarily the X factor, but what he said is true. I mean, without Clay, then yeah, it would have been Curry versus Kyrie and KD versus well, LeBron. Well, well, let me ask you guys this: when 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 everyone says LeBron had no chance against the Warriors because they were so stacked, but we all agree that LeBron was better than KD. Kyrie might not be as good as Curry, but overall, he's. He might not be as good of a shooter, but he's close. Was it really that much of a lopsided matchup? Yes, there's, there's, it was. There's another Tom. ten yes. players on the team. Are you serious, Tom? Why, 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 that, 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 tw- that twenty sixteen that that twenty sixteen team had the numero uno offense in the game, and they added thirty a game to that offense. Tom, <laughs> stop it, man! He's the best player in the game. <laughs> Step up, bro. That's a crazy. Yeah, you you if you're the best, you get it done. If you're the best, you get it done. You're the best, you get it done. Exactly. They you. got they got six wins worse yeah. from the previous season. They actually regressed. And, and what's even and what's even crazy? They were number one. I think in both offense and defense. And and the next year they were number two in defense. They actually got worse. I love it. Like they, low, if anything, low, they should have won. Low gets it. Low gets it. Richard Porter. With the super chat, I don't get why MVPs are so important. It's a regular season award. If you if you if you're supposed to be the MVP of the league and go to two the playoffs and can't even make it to the finals. Are you really the most valuable player? I'll also say we know that most valuable player isn't the best player in the league. So 
We do know that. Who cares? We do know that. The most valuable Hey, player. man, Lamar tried to push this off a couple months ago, and y'all hate him. It doesn't matter. I've never <laughs> – whoa, whoa, whoa. I've, I've never been one to d- – the, the MVP of the league has not always been the best player in the game. But no, it wasn't that. Almost never is. But, well, that's not true neither, Tony, yeah. because the MVP that, – mm-hmm. that's not true neither, because the best, player in the, player, in the player in the league – No, he isn't. But yeah, keep going. But Giannis was? Yes. Giannis wasn't in 2019. Giannis was not, Giannis was not the best, Giannis was not the best player in, in 2019. Was and I still, have gotten a, no. I still haven't gotten a satisfactory answer why James going a decade without seeing another league MVP. I still have not gotten a satisfactory answer. He's just not that guy. He's just not that guy. <laughs> but the best Mr. player Carl in the Malone NBA was Bill it, Walton. It, it, like it, I think we could go. But with that, being, but with that being said, funny. though, Tom Carl Malone, he was the second best player in the game. It wasn't like he was the fifth or the sixth. He's not the best. He was. He's not- it so was like he was the fifth or the sixth. He was low. He, he was right there. The world is hot. If he's not the, the best, it. that proves. Oh no, 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 we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. No, 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 no. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Was Stockton the best point guard in the league at that time? Here we go, Moss. Moss, we're not doing that. No, no, we're not. No, we're not. We're not doing that. I don't know. I don't know. In 1997, in 1997, Iman, we don't have time. We don't have time. Iman, Iman, Iman. What are some underrated players that have an argument for top 15 all time? Also, can y'all do a best, best All NBA first team year bracket tournament sometime? Oh, I think I think Dr. J doesn't get enough love as a top 15 player. In my opinion. Does everybody have Doc, him in the top 15? I, I, I got Doc right outside the top 15. I think I got him oh, 16. Uh, oh, that's right. Uh, you, you bumped KD up in there. Yeah. I think For I little, little, little Fluent, Little Fluent has uh, things. Jerry West definitely needs to be in the top 15 conversation. I would say Elgin Baylor does Jerry get West. Elgin do, Baylor doesn't get enough. Yeah, that's fair. I, I, thought, I, thought most most everybody, yeah. I, th- I thought everybody had him as a top 15. Jerry West. Like Jerry no, West. We, we, I, I got Jerry no. West in the top. 15. I have Jerry. I have Jerry wow. West outside the top fifteen. Yeah, see? What? A lot. A lot of people do though. I think a lot of people. I haven't do, just outside. Should. And I think he, they should as well. Like have him in there. He's I'll, I'll get. I'll get a little fluent to sell you. I got to message you all the information, Mars. He's no, the, 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 the real. The real answer. To move him up. I'm not gonna lie. The real answer is um, John Havlicek. Oh, that's, that's a good, good answer as well. Uh, I got it. I got. I think John Havlicek a top twenty player. So you can make the argument here. Top. But you. But you. You have. You have Pippen over Havlicek. You have Pippen over him, right? No, I got Pip. I, I don't have Pippen over Havlicek. I, I got. I got. I got, I, I got Pippen over Havlicek as a small forward. I'm but as an as an overall play, we already had this discussion. I think. Wait, where, did, where did Havlicek I think play? You, I. What do you mean? Where does he play? What, what position does he play? He plays the small forward spot. I don't. But understand what that, what's going on. I'm about to tell you right now. Okay. We already we already <laughs> had this, we already had this discussion. You could be a better player, and that other guy be better at his job than you. That could happen. So just like Pippen Steph, was just a like, better just like just like Steph Curry is a better player. Just like Steph Curry. Just like Steph Curry is a better player than John Stockton, I think John Stockton is a better point guard than Steph Curry. That was perfect. He could be a better center than Jokic, but Jokic is a better logic. player. So, That's the logic. So, perfect. so what? Did, so, what did Pippen do as a small four better than Havlicek to make him Everything. a better small four? What did he do better? I think he was a better overall play. I, I, I think he was better overall at those things that small forwards do. Like Such I think as? he was a better. I think he was a better defender than Havlicek. Right. I think he was a better distributor. I think he was a better playmaker and a slasher. I don't think he was a better scorer than Havlicek. I don't think that. So, but so small uh, forwards so, are not so, scores. Though. Wait, so no, that's not true. Sway, that's Sway not true at all. A better small forward than KD, but KD's a better player. Yes. No. <laughs> wait, wait, right? Which one is it? Yes what, or no? What, what are we confused? No, what yes, you, yes. No, 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 I'm, I'm asking because Scottie Scott, Scott Pippen does the I small Pippen, forward. I got Pippen all the way around. Better than Kevin Durant. All the way around. Does he though? He's a better who's distributor. A, who's a better he's a better playmaker and he's a better defender and he's, he's, a, he's better a better slasher, slasher as well. So he's better at all those things. You, you, so you, you agree? Can, you, you agree? You, KD you, you, is a you better player. You, I do. I do agree. KD is a better player. But, but Scottie I Pippen's think, a better small forwards. You can make that argument. Yeah. Absolutely. No, no, no. For you though, would you make that argument? Would you make that argument? I could. Sure. Would no, you? I could. No, 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 no. Will you? Will you make that? Would you make that argument? Like I'm get, like I'm putting like I'm getting my feet put to the fire right now. Yes, yeah. I would. Yeah. Yes, I would make that yeah. argument. Scottie Pippen is a better small four than KD. Okay, I can make I, you, you, I can make you can make that argument. Sure, low, 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 low. 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 Can, as, as you know, low. I'll make that. I'll make I'll make both those yeah. arguments. I'll yeah, we don't have time all to all make them right now, but we'll make those arguments. Not today, not versus today. Lopez as a buck. 27, 12, and 6 on 40% field goal and 34% of threes. I would That's say Embiid would have a more difficult time versus the Bucks. It's not very good. Giannis versus the 76ers. Mm-hmm. That's not very good. Okay. 24 seconds. To, I got, oh no, that's 
four minutes to save the world. Vogel had a better record at this point of the season. I didn't want to go into oh, that. Yeah. I looked into it, and that's a fact. And also, Vogel, the year before that, still led the team to a winning record when both AD and LeBron. And they had, the, and they had like, the second best defense. So and they had Vogel, the second best defense. Vogel over him. All right. Yes. Uh, San 8. Uh, Embiid drops 47 and 18, and ESPN says Embiid and Jokic combined for 71 points. <laughs> LOL. Crazy. No matter how bad Jokic looks, the media going to cover his. So you this, know what? That was, that I was told you, I talked to those wild. voters who will remain nameless who said they're picking Jokic because he's a nicer guy. They like him. Yeah. So the media like, love you. Close. The media says if it's close, I'm picking the guy I like more. Hey, but, we, but we've, we've seen the media make up stats for LeBron James for 15 years now. So They made okay. up stats? Bro, is that a fact? Come on, I don't know about that. No, so, but that, so, so they'll. You mean skew like, him? Like, skew like, 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 yeah, yeah, skew him. Yeah, skew him. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Him I, 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 I do. LeBron, LeBron, LeBron's the only person to score thirty-five points two Wednesdays in a row. Like, bro, come on. Oh, uh, I thought you, okay. you meant the one where they said he's the all-time <laughs> scoring leader when you include regular James, season and playoffs James, combined. James, James got the James got the most forty-point games on Wednesday in January. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the third of the month, one scored more points. Break. Um, Divine Photos, get your photos today at Divine. Which team you guys believe is coming out the West? And if you say the Kings, you'll be eliminated from the panel. I think oh, Denver. Well, wow. eliminate me now. I think Denver got a really good shot to come out the West. I like what they're doing in Denver. I do. I, I, got, I got money on it. Do you really have the Kings? I'm a, I'm a I do. I already bet on it. But I, 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 to, 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 let me go around the room. Chill. I, I think the road to the NBA championship goes through Golden State, but I think Denver got a really good shot to come out the West. I agree okay. with you. You agree? Bob's got the Kings. Low? I would rather like to say this post trade deadline, but right now I got Denver. Right now I got Denver. I'm so torn because I got, I want to say Memphis because Jaw's my favorite player in the West and Dylan Brooks is Canadian, but Jamal Ooh. Murray is also Canadian. So I'm going to go with Denver. Um, Dylan Brooks is why I don't believe in them. <laughs> <laughs> the BMG show Ticket hates Draymond and Jokic Kobe overrated Ticket just bounced oh. by the way I, He didn't say Byron Nothing uh, Ticket hates Draymond and Jokic Kobe overrated uh, BMG show Incorrect um, Kobe is overrated though That's fine Kobe He's is overrated. not overrated Right right, 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 chill? It, it, right chill? It, 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 it depends who you talk He's no, chill. No, no, right, chill? 11. no chill He's right? underrated Chill right Can you, can, can, can you imagine Some people have one Right can you imagine if I had this dude at, at, at 10, like how much different the conversation would be know, right? with me? Like how, how much different the, the conversation would be? It's because outside the top 10. Just... Hey, little bit. Hey, hello. Hey, hey, little bit. How are you? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Should have got back from dance. Um, okay, we got two more, and then we're going to get out of here in time, just in time. Uh, Conch, Iverson and Kobe have the same career defensive rating. Wow, defensive and, 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 and we would and we would never put Iverson and Kobe in the same category defensively. Never. They just proved your case for Iverson defensive defense. rating, not meaning nothing. Uh, Google, same conch. Google says your team don't affect defensive rating at low. The Google lied to you. That's a lie. The, the, team, that, the team that you're Google on lied. heavily, heavily impacts. Def how good you are defensive. Defensive, defensive rate. Defensive, defensive rating, rating thing is points allowed per hundred possessions. Isn't it, what, isn't it the total whatever divided by five? It's points allowed per 100 possessions. That's it. Yeah. So your, the amount of points your team allows per 100 possessions, that's defensive rating. And then so if you're if, if Bam, if, for example, if a great defender is on a bad defensive team, it doesn't matter. He's, he's going to have a bad defensive rating. Like when Ben Simmons, Even though he's not a had the, like when ben, ben Simmons and KD at the start of the season had the worst defensive rating in the NBA. It's not because they were necessarily playing the worst defense in the NBA. The Nets just had a trash defense. And but it, don't, it only counts while you're on the floor, though, right? Yeah, yeah, while you're on the floor. Yeah, just right. on the floor. But when, when you're a high-minute you know, player on a bad defense... You're the but you know this, Bob. Sometimes you right, get put right. on... You're the one starter that gets put on with, like, four subs for whatever mm -hmm. reason, be, you know, whatever, and the, and you're with a bunch of scrubs, and they yeah, can't yeah, defend them, and you you get screwed because they stink. And so yeah, now you're defensive... Defensive, defensive right is a terrible stat. Like poor, like, poor Chill gets left on the court with me, and I'm just, like, a turnstile letting people go drive to the basket. And then <laughs> no, I'm, a, I'm a terrible right. defender. I'm, tr I'm trash. So your plus minus will be fine because I'll shoot us back into it. Um, <laughs> that, was it. that was it for the super chats, other than Conch just, just, just came in again. Conch What's that? Conch just came in again. Oh, did he come in again? I'm sorry. Let me let me go that back down. That's it right there, right? That's right. Oh, there, yeah, there, there, there is team defensive rating. Yeah, player. team defensive rating is the amount of points the whole team allows per 100 possessions. Player defensive rating is the amount of points your team allows while you are on the court per 100 yes. possessions. Do you understand the difference between that, Conch? Because those two things are not the same thing. 
Because I don't, for example, I don't think What's nobody the one that divides that. it by five. I can't, I, I can't tell if he's trolling or not. I can't tell if you're trolling. Well, right. well, no, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I, 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 can't, I, I can't tell. I can't tell if you're trolling or not. Right <laughs> last, last, last super chat. Steph is back in MVP talks. KB knows ball. Stop no. KB. KB just chatting. No. We can keep. No, nah, he's not. The, the, no, 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 Steph. Steph. no, no, no. At least the top six, top five seed. I mean, right now they're the fifth seed, but if they continue to ascend, how they've been looking the last few weeks, and they get up to the three seed, he won't be the MVP. But he how they gonna get to the three seed, Morris? The three seed is ours. They can get to the four seed. They can get spot, to the, is that spot already, or, already occupied? Yeah, yeah. They, we, they, we, they can get. They can get. If they, they can get to the four seed. They can get to the four seed. <laughs> if I, because if I'm not mistaken, last year I think I just just another example. I think Drew. I think um, Luca's defensive rating was better than Drew Holiday's, and nobody in their right mind. Not even. And that's because the Bucks didn't have Brook Lopez, and the yes. Dallas defense was good. All right, that's we have good. one minute to say goodbye. Drink more water with the smartest chat of the day um any final words you have like five seconds to say them if you have trade them. james wiseman Tra- <laughs> trading per- deadline i think trading deadline will actually surprise a few people this may not be no crazy names but it will be what day is the trade deadline next, when, next it's wednesday. the ninth it's next wednesday. wednesday oh so it falls the day after us so we can we can talk a lot of trade no no that's not you next thursday i'm sorry next oh, thursday, next thursday? Yeah, next oh thursday. So we're gonna do a live fluent and chill trade deadline show mm-hmm. next thursday yes sir <laughs> Everybody's invited. Bob, Mars, Low, you're all invited to uh, Fluent and Chill next week to talk uh, trade deadline Yo, deal. Shout out to hey, that's Boy, that's good. That's gonna be like on Retro Nichols. You should have the smoke thing. Oh, yeah, fire. get that's your. Fire. That was yeah, easy, but yeah, yeah, that's fine. All right, yeah, well, all right, so out. Don't don't drink and drive, y'all. Take don't. it light, but take it. Now you're more the tacos? It's, it's Tuesday. Where the tacos? Where's the tacos? I put it in there. Thanks, Sean. Oh, and broadcast.